welcome back. I'm gonna start this other thing here. Um, what a crazy, ridiculous, <laughs> zany week that we had, and everyone was here, and everyone knows exactly <laughs> what happened. No, everyone back. Absolutely. Um, uh -huh. In case anyone watching at home didn't know what happened, uh -huh. to recap, right. uh, you all went into the, uh, the caves underneath Dantooine, the mm -hmm. rebel base that's been taken over the Empire. Mm -hmm. You found this artifact that was in there. You guys had kind of a, a weird experience. And as you were escaping, the base coming under attack, there were a lot of chaos that was happening. Uh, bodies uh, were dropped uh, from both your party, cool blue stripes, um, oh. and oh. other such things. So you, you were able, though, I mean, yeah. to escape, but it was strange because uh, the assailants of this Imperial base, you realized, were the same people that attacked the Fresh Start yep. way back in the very beginning. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, helping you escape was also, I'll say, who was also there was Randall, uh, and yeah, Randall left, and you guys uh, went into hyperspace, kind of following him, hoping that he wasn't leading you into something else. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, uh, through a series of jumps, you were brought back to the Rebel fleet because you couldn't go directly there. Mm -hmm. And so some time has passed. It's been two weeks since this ordeal on Dantooine. You've had a moment to rest up. Kind of, You went through the same things that you did before uh, on the Rebel fleet, which was they kind of debrief you, they kept you on the ship, they asked you a bunch of questions, but it wasn't as intense for Io, Herg, and Kilara as it was before, because they knew you and they sent you mm -hmm. on this. That being said, uh, uh, Caleb and Virgo, you, again, were brought into this mission, kind of as it already had started, under the promise of credits with Randall and work, and you were just kind of thrown into this crazy event. Um, so as you left the base and you were in the ship called the Ojimbo, which was what uh, the, sh the crew around you had, this, this is our ship, um, they eventually led you to where the rebel fleet is. And um, you knew that this is your, who your employer was because Randall was paying you through them. At the same point, when you first arrived, there was a little bit of a debriefing process. They kind of got more information from you. But after some time, everyone was allowed to just kind of walk around the ship. They didn't let you guys leave yet, but it's been about two weeks. You've been resting up, kind of reflecting <coughs> on everything that's happened. Uh, up to this point. So uh, at this point, everyone is full health and full strength. Mm. Um, and you all have been paid for the mission that you completed. So everybody has, uh, not only were you paid, you received a little bit of an extra amount. And you were pleasantly surprised mm. by this. Um, but boredom is slowly starting to get you on the ship. You've been here for more time than maybe some of you have stayed in one place, um, and you're starting to get a little stir crazy. And as you're all in this communal um, bunk, as you're kind of getting to know each other more, the door opens up and a familiar looking rebel comes in. Uh, he was the same guy who grabbed you last time uh, and brought you to the debriefing room. Oh, hey, so I guess you guys uh, are all here. This makes my job easier if, uh, if you guys are ready, uh, I've been ordered to take you back to the debriefing room. Um, I guess they got something else for you. Um, when you're ready, come follow me. Sure, of course we're here. Where else are we gonna be? Exactly, it's not like you exactly let us roam freely around here. Look, I just do what they tell me to do. I'm gonna do this real quick. <clears throat> Where'd he go? He just walked over there. And then he comes back in. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear something crash behind him. He looks at you, unflinched. <clears throat> <laughs> I get it, uh, but at the same point, look, I'm, you guys are these privateer guys. I don't really know how they do things with you, but uh, look, I have orders. I've been told to take you if you will come follow me. Um, when you're ready. And he steps back out again, the door closes. You have a brief moment in this room together. I'm ready now, so. I think we all are. <laughs> I guess it's There's better. No reason to, to stay through. here. Yeah, it's better than sitting around doing nothing. I feel like this is as close to purgatory as I'll ever get. Maybe a tad bit dramatic, but. What is the next step, Captain? Well, we gotta go find out what it is they want us to do. 
So it's not doing us any good to sit around here. We might as well go to the briefing room and see what they want. Lead the way. So as the door opens, he's, oh, good. I didn't know how long you would take if it's followed me. He proceeds to lead you through this rebel ship. You remember it as a Mon Calmari cruiser from before. Um, and as he's leading you through these hallways, you're seeing a lot of personnel in the ship. Um, and it's a, a mixed bag. There's a lot of um, military personnel that are there, but there's also a lot of people that seem to be more um, constructive, like they're more of kind of relief aid as they're mingling about. And you see that there's some sort of big um, operation that's been going on. You don't fully know yet because the ship has, after you've boarded it, made a few more jumps. You kind of don't know where you're at. But eventually he leads you back to this briefing room. And as the, the door opens, again, it's like an amphitheater. And you see a hologram image uh, and a red toilet uh, talking to this image. And you, you briefly remember this was the same Twilight that you had met, mm -hmm. who sent you on the mission to Dantooine. And she's mm -hmm. talking to this hologram. It's like, well, um, honestly, uh, I've gone over your report, we all have, and it seems like you did everything you could. Um, and I was just so amazed that you were able to pull this off uh, with as little casualties as happened. Um, really, as little casualties as happened? Because uh, Randall would have made us believe otherwise, that uh, you know we had more casualties than and as you say his name, the hologram <laughs> turns around and you see Randall and he just gives you a wink. Uh, and the Twilight continues and he's like, so um, I guess good luck, uh, congratulations on your promotion and um, <clears throat> continue to keep us um, aware of the situation that you're on. And he just looks at all of you and, and the hologram disappears. He got, a he got promoted? He didn't do anything! So you're all there at the top of the stairs and you're seeing, again, the end of this conversation and the Twilight waves you. Oh good, you're all here. Um, please take a seat. He's probably gonna buy himself a new pair of glasses. <clears throat> or a new box of them. That means more for us to break. <laughs> so as you filter down and you take different seats, uh, she proceeds to kind of go through this spiel of, um, look, uh, we understand that we send you off on a mission that might not necessarily, we didn't know what to expect. And from the reports that we've had, um, you guys did a, a, an amazing job in Randall's report, glowing um, acts for all of you. He says nothing but the best. Um, and so with that, we understand two things. One, um, this legend, this, super weapon that we're involved with is much bigger than we thought. Um, it seems like there's this other party that's involved that we knew about, but it's gonna take us more time to figure out where the next location is. But we also understand that um, you guys need work. So we have another mission for you if you're... <laughs> Where'd she go? Probably to keep talking to Randall. Probably wasn't done talking. And as... <sighs> Happy Friday. Uh, <laughs> so unprofessional. Exactly. Another comm starts to go off and she <laughs> immediately shuts it <laughs> Because she's like, no, I'm giving you my entire focus because this is important. And clearly I would have turned off all other lines of communication <laughs> to the briefing room because this is important. Oh, and funny. So what's this work? Well, <clears throat> as you know, uh, despite the success uh, that we had with the Death Star, the Rebel Alliance has had a lot of setbacks. Um, one of them was we needed equipment and arms to continue to supply uh, troops on the front lines in this fight against the Empire. And one of the decisions we decided to do was go to the huts. We thought that maybe they have no love for the empire and we have no love for the huts, but maybe we could work something out. And well, we sent some envoys to go to the huts and try and I'm broker sorry, a deal. You tried to negotiate with huts? 
I understand you, your frustration. There. No, you don't. Yeah, frustration's not necessarily the word. Somebody within the Alliance had made reference to a previous kind of deal that was made between the Republic and the Huts during the Clone Wars. And we figured if it worked then, maybe we could try and do it again now. Captain, I don't understand. These Huts have made deals before. Why are they so impossible to negotiate with? Well, they're not exactly trustworthy. And I personally don't deal with the Huts. Mm. Well, uh, yes. Unfortunately, they weren't very trustworthy because they sold us out to the Empire. And it's <laughs> good that you apparently have the feeling of not working well with Huts because we're sending you to try and retrieve the envoys that were sent to the Huts oh, and bring them back. It did not go well, did it? It didn't. Um, they, we have reports from one of our undercover agents uh, who says that they're still alive, but they're being held, and they are about to be sold to the Empire. How many? Two. Okay. And you require us to rescue them, correct? Correct. Um, as privateers, it's easier for you to pose as simple merchants, pirates, smugglers. Um, and unfortunately, we can't. The whole operation was rather clandestine. And if the Rebel Alliance goes in full force, it's not going to, I'll be frank, it's not going to look well for us that we were dealing with huts. And it won't with. end well either. We've decided that this seems like an appropriate use of your skills. Um, of course, we're always willing to pay. Um, I've been authorized to, um, upon the retrieval of these two rebel envoys, 32,000 credits will be transferred to you. Um, is this something you think you're interested in? Absolutely. Sure. I'm right here. Staying here. I'm bored. Where are they? Um, wait. Only if we receive half up front. Make a charm check. Charm? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're trying to be threatening about it. <laughs> Not at all, no. <laughs> Uh, you have two boosts, is what it looks like. Six. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I'm gonna use two boosts. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna use two boosts. It's gonna be uh, three difficulty. And I'm gonna add, I add them. I'm gonna add, oops, I want the other one. I'm gonna add two setbacks to that, too bad. Okay. Locked in, roll it. Locked in, roll it. One success. Ooh. Got a little bit of a delay, so I'm gonna. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's look. It's that's reasonable. I understand it. You guys uh, have proven yourself. I, I, I again, I can't explain how impressed we were with Randall's report of the whole situation. Um, and the remaining two quarters for each surviving member that we bring back. Well, Herg. In theory, we'd probably be bringing them back yes, together. Yes, if we bring back one, I want that quarter for that person. That seems fair. I think that can be... So if I'm understanding you, if you bring back only one... We get half of the half that was still owed to us. Half up front, off of the table. That's already ours. Yes. The remaining half of 32,000 credits will be given to us for the successful return of two captives. Now, if we only bring one, we still get half of that payment. Approved. Um, I so, like your negotiating skills, Herg. <sighs> yes. There is uh, a packet of information that we've supplied to you. It should be arriving to your data pad shortly give you a little bit more information. Um, of course, there's um, a few, now that you're in, uh, I can explain a little bit more about the situation. 
So uh, unfortunately, the deal with the huts went down on Narshada, which requires us to send you to Narshada. Um, that said, we have a contact on the planet who's been deep undercover working uh, in the hut syndicate. And he says that he knows where they're at. He has intel on it. Um, but we can't have you just go directly there. So uh, to him. So kind of as cover, what we're going to need you to do is s deliver supplies to Narshada. That'll be your cover as you're sending off goods, retrieving goods. And then while that's happening, you will meet your contact. Um, his code name is the Fruch. Is I'm sorry. The Fruch. <laughs> Fruch. The Fruch. And by um, chance, how is that spelled? F R U C. The Fruch. <laughs> um, Spelling it only made it worse. <laughs> he has more information uh, and intel there on the ground. <laughs> And we how will we find him once we get oh, there? Fruit. <laughs> he says that he has a contact in the docking uh, loading area. That is will... his name the veg? <laughs> it's the fruit. The fruit. No, his friend. His other contact. Oh, his docking. other. Yes. <laughs> no. I don't understand the joke. No. no it's... The fruit. The fruit. The fruit. The fruit. The fruit. The fruit. Sorry. It's she, she looks at you rather confused, like what you said was really funny to, to Caleb. He's cracking up, but just went completely over her two uh, tentacles. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this Fruch character that makes me trust him implicitly. I believe he's a good man. I mean, anyone's going to be an improvement over Randall. How will we recognize and the Fruch? And remind me of that when you actually meet him. I will. You'll Please don't tell me it's by his sunglasses. No, you'll <laughs> know him distinctly. Uh, you'll have more information when you land, but we've heard that he wears a very distinct hat. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Of course he does. Give me that. We've clearly mm -hmm. been on this ship too long. <laughs> okay. Um, oh God. One more the thing. Fruit. As uh, professional, as posing as professional Caleb. smugglers, privateers, can, merchants, though. however you That's want to call it, it only made sense to allocate you additional resources. <laughs> um, it's yours to use if you want to, but there is an additional ship that is in the hangar that we have been told that has been approved for your access. It's a fighter that will go along with your freighter. Who of us can fly? I forgot. Oh, it's you. Mm -hmm. You can fly. I can fly. Good. Yes. Good. So with that, uh, unless there's any specific questions? Nope. Excellent. I won't hold you to it. And you, she sees like a, uh, like a red light being on the dais in front of her. And then the door opens off to the side, and a woman walks in. That's right. Um, she looks over. Before you leave, if you, uh, just a few minutes of your time, she waves over this woman, and as this woman approaches you, you see that she is wearing kind of the humanitarian aid clothing of these other personnel that you've seen kind of walking around the ship. <clears throat> she seems very distraught. Is it... Is it true that you were on Dantooine? Yeah. We were. It's true. Yes. And you... You, you met... Avila Yanuzi? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was she okay? We don't know. As we were leaving the planet, 
in our ship, given coordinates to return to the rebel base. We did see the Imperial station come under attack, but we, we don't know what happened. She was alive the last time we saw her. She was, however, injured. Who was she to you? She, like, has trouble talking as you say that she was injured. And the red twilight like, just kind of mouths. Um, I think that um, you've taken enough of their time, Crystal. She kind of leads her out, kind of motioning towards the door. Um, I look forward to hearing from you a successful mission. And she walks out with this woman. So you're now left alone in this briefing room on the ship, knowing that you need to get to the hangar eventually. But is there anything that you want to do beforehand? I did not know that you knew she had a sister. Nor did I. <sighs> Unfortunately, I, I can't see how anyone on that base could have possibly survived. But I didn't want to tell her and worry her needlessly because I don't have an answer. The truth is usually best. Mm. We told the truth. We don't know for sure. Yes. Thank you, Virgo. <clears throat> she may have survived. <clears throat> well, doesn't matter. Time to move on, I guess, and come up with a plan for getting ourselves to Narshada. Ayo. Yes? What do you know of the huts? Hate is a very strong word. I tend to leave matters of personal weight out of my chosen profession. That being said, I hate the huts. Fair enough. And liberating hut property is something of a speciality of mine. <laughs> I have no love for the huts myself. <laughs> liberating hut property, I like that. Mm -hmm. I've been in that business myself. So, I think we are in agreement that uh, relieving the huts of some of their riches is not such a bad thing. That's, a, <laughs> that's putting it lightly. <laughs> We were supposed to receive more information about this mission, correct? <clears throat> yes, it should have been transferred to our data pads. So we have two ships at our disposal? Yeah, so with these two ships, you were saying we can take both our ship and the other ship, or we can pick and choose? Correct, okay. you can take both. Both, oh. You can take both, but I don't think any of us is good at flying, except for you. <laughs> I have no piloting skills. <laughs> I have no piloting skills myself. It's been uh, allocated towards your use, but you don't need to use Which it. Which one do you feel I most comfortable flying? Piloting, It doesn't come with a yeah. pilot. That's, that's a... That doesn't come there's with no, a pilot. There's no droid in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we... What do we know about this planet, Narshida? Is it Narshida? Narshida. Narshida. Yeah. Narshida. 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 The dragon, the ah. Narshida. Narshida. Is there any info on the... As you circle through your data pads, you... Captain, I lost my data pad. Oh. Everyone besides her is seeing <laughs> uh, this information. Use mine. Oh, thank you, yes, this looks good. It's a heavy looking data pad. <laughs> that Narshida is the moon. It's known as uh, the Smuggler's Planet. Mm -hmm. It's a small moon that orbits above now Hutta, which is the homeworld to the huts. It is similar in Coruscant in the sense that it is a, pretty much one entire city encompasses the planet, but again, it's just a small moon. Um, it's pretty much known to be a wretched hive of scum and villainy <laughs> uh, it, into an, uh, an extreme degree. So it's still controlled by the huts, but it's kind of the wild west of space. Mm. 
The only argument for bringing both, if by some chance uh, we lose the ability to return home in one, mm -hmm. the other may still be waiting for us. Of course, on the smuggler's moon, there may be nowhere safe to land either vessel. Also landing two could draw more attention to us. That's true. If we arrive separately. Hmm. Also, I don't trust any of you, or myself, to drive the other ship, <laughs> to be honest. So while you're having this kind of discussion mm -hmm. in the briefing room, the door opens up and like a bunch of people walk in. Oh, we had, um, we had this scheduled. Oh, did you? Did you, we can, do you need a, no, you're wrapping we it? No, we, we were just going. Just leaving. Just leaving. Yeah. Yes. Just, yeah. And that woman cried, her sister was dead. So Carrying on, you know, like war business. But if you yeah. need, no, no, okay. That. No, we're, yeah. we're just okay. gonna go. We're, cool. we're, we're, we're gonna go. Did you, did you have another? No, it. You can, you used you stay. Well, we're just, we'll I'm gonna, I'm gonna just plug this, I'll plug it in. He like plugs it in, a chart like pops up. Oh, but you shouldn't see this, and he like pulls it back out. Were you just about to say war business? Yeah, war, war. they look like they're a bunch of like young, uh, fresh out of boot like <laughs> lieutenants that are all kind of talking to each other. So they have very green, very green. Uh, but, just, but you can, you can turn. We'll wait. We can, no, we're going to leave. We all. I get. I get up and I leave. I'm yeah. leaving. Perfect. Yeah. I Excellent. take my things and I leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Come on, Caleb. That's All great. Right. Shall we take the fighter? What do you want to pilot? What do you want? What do you feel most comfortable? <sighs> Guys, I'm going to try to stay in this meeting. I'm going to see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you of all people, yeah. they're I'm going so to see you. Stealth? There's I'm no way. Be, yeah, <laughs> I love NPCs as <laughs> much as you do. <laughs> but. <laughs> Are you really staying in the meeting? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's gonna be too purple. Okay. Oh my Easy. God. And I'm locked in. Do you want to use your boost? No. Uh, I'll use. I'm I'll just. Gonna... I don't only want to use a setback on this because I don't want to. I'm not gonna waste a boost on yeah. <laughs> me ticking <laughs> around. And then and I forgot. You guys have plus one success for the first hour because we oh, ended oh, the that's whole. That's true. Yeah. So then so I actually that. have two successes <laughs> and an advantage. Wow. I mean, two advantages. I have one. I have no mm. failure, no success. Oh, they cancel each other out. Oh, it's taken a while. It's, there's two a little advantages. bit of a uh, lag. So you have what? Two advantages. Two advantages. Two advantages. That's it. With that, that's taking into account the plus yes, one, the is. free. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you like pop back in, <laughs> the door opens up, and they all turn to see you. I sit down at the back. <laughs> but they seem very intimidated by. So they clearly see that you're there, but they just continue their. Conversation. Uh, well, if you look at these, um, the, the war business here, we have that there's an increased activity. Bert, how long is this going for? They seem. I'm gonna grab her and just drag him out of God, there. Wait, they were getting into war business. I was learning about war business. I don't think so, Herg. That <sighs> sounded like a whole giant nine foot tall cat person watching over me, and I don't want to say anything important. Look, Shaggy finally got a job. Let him, <laughs> let him do his thing. Don't make him nervous. So, you guys are familiar with where the hangar's at. Yes. Because um, you've been here before. Yeah. Same point, you guys, uh, Virgo and Caleb. You know where it's at as well because you've spent a couple weeks aboard the ship. So despite kind of as you landed, you've gotten a lay of the land. So you all know where the hangar is at. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to do, I guess, before heading there or you go straight to it? The ship doesn't have any issues, does it? No damage? Well, we don't know yet because we haven't been to the hangar to check it out. Well, let's check it out then, Kayla. Um, <laughs> I think that's job. what we should do. Mm -hmm. that there's nothing else to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you make your way Although through. Although he's hinting that there's something we should be thinking. About. <laughs> the corridors. Of I'll use the restroom. Perfect. You all decide to take a brief moment. You know how long. It's. The refresher, and you make your way to the hangar. And um, there's a bunch of ships, and it looks like shuttles and equipment of as busy activity as um, transports are leaving the hangar and heading down to the planet. And this is the first time again because the ships made multiple jumps. You realize. This bright blue orb is kind of outside, and you, Mon Calamari is where you're at. So you see this huge fleet of ships uh. as it's going down as relief effort. Kind of the blockaded planet has been liberated, but there's still a lot of reconstruction that needs to take place. 
I see. Um, so there's a lot of commotion, but you know the Yojimbo, like the back of your hand, and there it sits, uh, and right next to it is another fighter, uh, right next to it. So if the Yojimbo is probably about like, uh, I'm gonna tell you actually, if it's about 20, it's about like 30 meters long, mm. it's about, it's a starfighter, so it's about like 15, so it's half of that. So those aren't to scale, so think of it again, one is like a fighter with enough room for like two people to sit in it, a little bit of I see. comfort room. Uh, okay, but so the Yojimbo's bigger. The Yojimbo is a freighter, so it, even though it's your space camper, right. uh, it's bigger than the fighter. So. I see. So but we, not like we can dock this one on this one and just you, go. You actually totally can. Let's oh. do that. Like a camper? Like, <laughs> it'd be more on top because you're Spacious you're doing the airlocks to it. Right, right, right. Well, but this is how they sort of stay. Well, Theoretic. Theoretically. Except that the my question. fighter's a lot smaller. Yeah. If, if they see someone just going in onto their land, are we going to be met with immediate discord? Like, are, are, are they going to attack us immediately once we land? I wouldn't worry too much about Narshada. Again, it's kind of the... It's should that factor into what um, it's a smuggler's moon. Yeah, everyone that lands there is suspicious. That's we'll true. blend right in. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Uh... I think I think I know what we were supposed to do. Mm. We're supposed to ask about supplies. Oh, probably. Probably. We're starting a mission. We're just like, sweet. How much will you pay us? <laughs> Let's go. Let's get our story but straight. But speaking of supplies, you all have spent a couple weeks there. So in, again, the boredom of the downtime in between waiting for this debriefing, you've all spent time aboard the ship. Some of you twink, uh, tinkering with your... Oh, like twink. He was going to say twink. Twinking. Twinkering. 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 Uh, <coughs> that was... Adjusting. Was uh, your your gear. So some of you have have upgraded your equipment, and that's just kind of what you've done to um, pass some time. On sure. That. But you see you, Jimbo, and you see this other ship uh, there. And as you move a little bit closer towards it, you see something strange. Standing, guarding the Jimbo's ramp is a peculiar looking B1 battle droid. <clears throat> uh, in, can I help you with something? You seem to be <sighs> in the presence of my ship. Hey, nobody's allowed here. Uh, I disagree, this is my ship, so therefore I am allowed. As soon as you say that, he stands a little bit more at attention, and you hear processing, processing. <laughs> oh, hey! It's you! Herg, Io, and Captain! It's me, B0001! I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> it's me, B0001! You've never met before. That's right! Processing message! And you hear like the voice, kind of like some like doo -doo 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 -doo, and you realize for at a distance he was painted, it's as if someone had hand painted this battle droid, where as you hear this processing of it of retrieving some file, you look and you realize that its face has been painted orange and its arms have been painted orange, right. but it's wearing what looks like blue painted on overalls. Oh, uh, no. And you hear a message in a different voice that plays through. Hi, friends. Oh. Sorry I couldn't be back to see you in person, but there's a lot to do on Mon Cal. Working some magic. I got you a new friend. Try to take care of him. Hope he helps out. Go. Oh. Wait. Uh, message <laughs> completed! It is a message from Ko. Herg, you yes. didn't kill Ko. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good. Will uh, someone please explain <laughs> what's going on here? I have literally no idea what's going on. <laughs> you keep the most annoying of company. <laughs> Who is Excuse this? Excuse me, that is, we've never met this yes. before. Also, this is B001. Yeah, I got that. Lovingly... B00. Zero. I'm sorry, I left out a zero. I said B, I meant K. 
I'm sorry. It's K zero zero one. Oh, well, uh, now we recognize you. It's a K. K zero zero one. K zero 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 one. Three zeros. K three zeros. Three zeros. K three zero. K to the to the third power zero one. K zero. So who is this and and why is he here? I'm K zero 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 one. Okay. We have a compatriot uh, in the Rebel Alliance, the one who sort of brought us here in the first place, uh, Amon Calamari, her name is Ko. We previously thought that Herg had maybe accidentally gotten her murdered, but now we but find- she's physical proof that, that that was not the case. That's oh. not true. And she was kind enough to bestow a new friend a farming upon droid us. upon us. She was very good with computers, not very good with blasters. Yeah, or people. But tell us, K0001, were, how did our friend Ko come to be in possession of you? That's a great story, let me tell you. Information redacted. Great, well. <laughs> What kind of what kind of droid is this? It's a B1 battle droid. So imagine uh, it's the rank and file droids that the Separatists used during yeah. the Clone Wars. Um, been repainted though. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no worries. Live I've been I've been making ah, mistakes. Update, because uh, this is live programming. Um, we have rolled out a new feature just now. Ooh. Uh, oh. You guys can see it on your player screen. Hey. Um, so the players can see what you see. You see those health bars, you see those strain bars. Why don't you knock her five health right now? Yeah. What? 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 Why? So you can see this update in a moment. <laughs> but, <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, and you know, it may not be updating there, but it's definitely updating on my screen. Cool. Uh, yeah, cool. Then, Kinara, we can't tell. Also, uh, you see a lightsaber this. above the player's cards. Those will well, dictate alignment. Yep. Ah. So if you're aligned dark, a red lightsaber will start to emerge. Uh, if you're aligned oh. light side, then a blue lightsaber will start to emerge. Wow. Oh. Very sexy. And then starting next week, mm -hmm. uh, based on where the force meter, what is leading, uh, there will be a readout for the players. If the dark side is leading and you're aligned dark side, then you get advantage on rolls. Uh, if the light side is winning and you are aligned light side, then you get advantage on rolls and vice versa for disadvantage. And that's pretty much it. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, it's very cool. So that's that's it. You can cool. go crazy with that now. Quite quite literally. Sorry, oh, I should probably you. give her health back. What was your total? Twenty uh, seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. That's what I thought. Thank you. All right. Cool. Mm. Cool. I don't know if it's working, but uh, excellent. So you're there. Uh, this droid. Uh, you've asked it how it, it seems. Files are missing. So it's just like a protocol type. It's of a battle droid. It's a battle it's a, droid. It is a battle droid. Yeah, it's a battle like droid. droid. Like a Roger Roger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's exactly what it yeah. is. Roger Roger. But with overalls. Mm -hmm. Paint it on. Painted Paint it on, it on yeah. overalls. Great. Yeah. Mm. We should get him real overalls. <laughs> He seems very thin. We'll add it to our to-do list for the future. Dexy's Midnight Battle Droid. <laughs> Wait, before we leave, before we disembark, we, we have, have we been paid yet? Has that payment half of the 32,000 credits gone through? That is a very good through? question. Because if so, perhaps we can find a place here at, the, at this base to use some of those credits to stock up on. I mean, what are your favorite foods? I'll buy some food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> There's not something I, I was eat. thinking about yes. right at the moment. That's not what you're thinking about, Fargo? I was not How thinking about I'm not starving. I don't know. The, the, uh, the last mission really kind of messed me up a little bit. I'm still uh, kind of dealing with <laughs> What do you require? A fallout. Some sort of uh, self-medication? Nothing. Your silence. That's Stop what I require. Rebel oh, it's a joke. I'm kidding. It's a joke. So Alderini and Ale, if I can find it. I'd love that. Some That'd sort be great. of... Go to Stim Spice, some drugs. What do you What do you want? Don't need drugs. Okay. <laughs> I don't need drugs. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out. It's Thank tough you. to read you. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> What's going on in Virgo's head? That's okay. Do we have money yet? Do we know? Do we need to get supplies? Nobody has been transferred any money. So we're not besides going Io, who's That's been right. transferred the full. 
15,000. Oh, or right. 30, oh, no. whatever, uh, half uh, of 16. 16. 16. I know math. math. Yeah. I know 16. math. Yeah. Levio's got it. Oh, so yeah, you can do I have check it. that on my data? No, I own it. Oh, I own it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I like the game. You got like <laughs> space cash apt, like yeah. right, like space yeah. space yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is do we do we need any supplies or anything? I don't think that the rebel yeah, base is that's... necessarily the uh, a, a real cash crop of supplies. That is kind of the point of this mission was they were in need of supplies and tried to make a deal with the huts. So. Yes. I'd say we're better off heading to Narshada. We'd probably have more luck finding more interesting supplies there. Yes. Good thinking, Captain. I agree. I also don't remember us stopping to eat on our entire life. <laughs> <laughs> so, right? I'm all of a sudden very, very hungry. <laughs> realizing how. Oh, no, you been, guys, you did stop for months. food. We did stop for food. Uh, oh, yeah, at that restaurant, we after real. you threw that kid. After you threw yeah. that kid. You had like a fancy fish dinner and I did. Yeah. Well, I well, shit, we have any bread. We haven't had anything to yeah. eat. Except for the, the <laughs> small <laughs> insectoid that we <laughs> chewed on, that was it. I think we should eat before we In leave. the eat of battle. Hearing you. Uh, In the eat of battle. K001. I like the eat. The eat. Say about food. I have food. And he like turns and there's like a crate next to him. And he kicks it, um, and it and it's just like the most <clears throat> gross-looking base, gener like protein, right, like, liquids. Mm -hmm. uh, uh huh. That that'll do, I suppose. You have a lot to learn, K zero zero one. You've got a lot to learn. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Well, these guys are catching up on old times. Can I take a look at the ship and see Thank yeah. you. what condition it's in? <laughs> yeah. So there's the ship that you came in on, which was the Yojimbo, which nice. was the uh, Io's, Perg's, and uh, Kilar's. Which I assume we had plenty of time to look You've at. You've gotten very used to it. You approach the other ship, and it's smaller, right? It's a fighter. It's a strange design. Um, but from the outside and from your knowledge of mechanical experience, it seems to be in almost pristine condition. Um, it looks like it's got a little bit of like scoring on it as if it had seen some conflict. Right. But besides that, it, it looks uh, in tip-top mm -hmm. shape. What ship is it? Uh, what type of ship? Yeah. It is a G1A uh, Starfighter. If you're familiar with Star Wars lore, it's like the mist hunter that Succus and Forlom pound around in. G1A. Well, the G1A Starfighter looks good. It's in great condition. These scuff marks from battle and nothing more. Apparently we don't need a captain, but rather we just need to attach it to dock right. it to our ship, correct? Yeah. Yes. Though part of me wonders if there's not a second person to pilot it, if there's much point in bringing it along. Hmm. Because if, if one ship goes down, then both do. We won't all fit in the fighter. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But we never know what we might need while we're there. That is With true. Docks, why not bring it? Yeah, but then do, are there any more ships? I mean, if these both, if we lose them both, then we come back here. We won't have another. This ship has been oh. granted to us for this mission, correct? Oh, specifically for, for this mission. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you don't, well, let's you, bring both of them. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's, it's ours to lose. It's yes. Ours to, to and when Caleb and I are the only ones to survive, we can make off on the two-person ship. Perfect. <laughs> I love your confidence, Virgo. I'm sorry, I'm a little. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So it seems like Caleb and Virgo are naturally start kind of gravitating towards this starfighter. Um, Maybe it's because of the experience that you had on the Yojimbo. It's not a <laughs> spacious ship and you kind of want to <laughs> stretch your legs. Maybe it's also the fact that it has history. You, get, you two start walking towards it. If it is attached to the Yojimbo, can it fire its own weapons? Uh, it's not attached right now. But right? if it is, if uh, it went? No. No. Oh, then perhaps we should fly them separately, Captain. So we would need to fly them to dock. How do we dock? You them would together? need to go through the motions of mm -hmm. pulling out of the hangar. That's All good. you have to do is connect them, and it's then so they'd be on top of each other, and you could. Kilar, you can do that, start. right? Sure. You fly the Yajimbo, and I'll fly the G1A Starfighter. You can't fly that. Well, it's our first time for everything. <laughs> K0001, do you have any piloting? 
processing, processing, processing. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Downloading. Oh, okay. Downloading. Yes! Oh, well, that worked. I'm happy to give up my seat to you then. <laughs> right then. K00. Cool, Zero. here's what we need. What? Do you have <laughs> space piloting? <laughs> Processing. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Processing. Be a long night. <laughs> Downloading. <laughs> yep! Oh. And he picks up the crate of Good. food paste and starts walking towards the ship. <laughs> Look at him waddle. He's so funny. I mean, I guess we might as well take That's the rations that. with us. Yes. How how uh, skilled would you say you were at planetary piloting K301? That's a good question. I just assumed you'd be Co good. Co 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 one. Oh. Uh, the information that's relayed to you is he, there's only s standard packages that can be downloaded into it. So it's not necessarily great, but it's enough. It's serviceable, more yeah. serviceable than we There's we always are. a risk when it comes to a droid flying it, uh, but. Right. But I'm just thinking that if it's a more complicated maneuver, perhaps, I cannot believe I'm going to say this, I should entrust the Ojimbo temporarily to the battle droid, and I will attach the starfighter. Are you sure that's a good idea, Captain? Well, I mean, I'm not crazy about the idea of being stuck outside of my own ship once <laughs> we're in space. Mm -hmm. But once it's docked, you're not able to go. You're able to transfer in between. You yes, yes, you yeah. So you won't be stuck right. anywhere. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So we are docking the ship. Yes. yes. Might as well take it along. Worst case scenario, we may need it for bartering. Oh my god, I didn't think about that. That's true. It's a good idea. So you're so you're asking my one to barter cool. So I'm asking too. call one to fly the Ojimbo, and I'm gonna fly the G1A Starfighter and dock it on it. Co one stops. Turns around, Roger, Roger, and <laughs> there yes. starts that. That's a easier, and I think I'm gonna yeah. go with that. Uh, <laughs> and it sits on the lower ramp of the Ojimbo and just stares at everyone as you're kind of waiting about to see kind of who's going where. How so many you, fit? Only two people fit in this. That's you can fit. Two people can pilot it, and there's you know there's also two bunks in there. So in theory, you could fit. Four people if two gotcha. people are sitting in. All right, Captain, where do you want us? I'll go wherever one you want us in. It makes no difference to me. Mm. Well, Herg, I think I'd feel better if you accompanied our new co-substitute friend on the Ujimbo. And yay! K-11 and Virgo, why don't you join them and Done. Back. Sure. I'll say no more. <laughs> so everyone. I also get in. Goes to their appropriate spots, and mm -hmm. uh, as the ramp goes up in the Jimbo, you're kind of becoming familiar with this new mm -hmm. thing. There's uh, like a ladder that's been lowered that you climb up the ladder sure. into the ship. Um, so everyone is getting associated in their spots. Um, Co one puts the crate down and starts making its way to uh, the pilot seat. And Herg, <laughs> would you like to join me? <laughs> yes. Yay! <laughs> Tell me a joke. <laughs> Can we hear it from where we are, like back in the bunk area? Yeah, funniest, Just, yay! Well, I'm about to hear it. Yeah. The funniest joke you can no tell. Sleep. We will not <laughs> sleep. <laughs> processing, processing. What did the zero one zero 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 one one? Stop, stop talking. <laughs> ah, this joke isn't for me. <laughs> So K or Co One <laughs> sits down in the pilot seat, um, and I sit in the co pilot yeah, seat. So it's these you know, hands start moving ac across the board and turning it on. Um, Kilar, you're in. F you're the controls are the first time you've seen them, but you feel familiar enough that you can get a handle on it. Mm -hmm. Right. So just go ahead and do a real quick uh, piloting check. Okay. 
for your space. Um, you got it. You, and can, can you can you 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 did. Yes. Yes. Everybody, you're close yeah. enough yeah. where yeah. your yeah. interpersonal yeah. comms will work. Including Co One. Uh, Co One. Yes. Yeah. You see oh, that no. he's got like a, an that, antenna that's on the back. Okay. Oh, it does not. Okay. Stop tearing up the ship. What are you doing with the Yojimbo song? <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's the, he's the, ele- he's the electric. All right, what am I? Here. Yeah. It's only going to be one purple. One purple? It feels good. Oops, my thing went down. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's bad. Okay. And are you? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that boost. Mm, delightful. Uh, dang, you guys can see uh, my shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to add two setback to that and a difficulty. Oh, jeez. I would have added more, but you know, say lovey. Ah, one success with a disadvantage. Oh, two success with a disadvantage because I have the added success. You do. So two success. So as uh, <laughs> you kind of move across the console, and it picks up. It starts shaking. You kind of knock over a few crates. You're kind of getting used to it. It's like in that scene from Independence Day where it's right. you flip the thing around. <laughs> Okay, now you understand. Right, okay, you clearly it. knocked over some stuff. Everyone's kind of looking at you like, <laughs> why did you do that? But you make your way out of the hangar and kind of syncing up with you as well. The Ujimbo lifts up and heads out of the hangar. So now you're in the space overlooking uh, Mon Calmari. Um, right. You get some distance between you and the capital ship. Right. And you're trying to maneuver on board the to dock on top yeah. of the Ujimbo. Okay, go ahead and do your pilot again. All right. Um, just um, I get on comms there. and mm-hmm. I go, Co One, is this your first flight? Yes. Are you still getting used to your programming? Yes. Get used to it. Right now, please. Updating, updating, up, and the ship just like stops. And is because mm-hmm. he was like flying it and it mm-hmm. just starts to coast forward as if he's stopped flying for a moment. What uh, are you doing? And is then everything okay up Grabs there? back onto it. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I have my eyes on the front of the It's gonna be, uh, it's, a rough it's gonna be th- two purple. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm lo- oh, oh wait, right. I'm not. I'm gonna take that boost. Now I'm locked in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, internet. I'll do a setback and a difficulty. All right. <clears throat> So as these two ships are maneuvering, um, he comes to a complete oh, stop. Interesting. Um, <laughs> For success. Um, and you just kind of let everything fade around you, right? You're just focusing on the controls and moving the ship on top. And you're not trying to do it. There's there's no pressure. There's no like yeah. threat. So you just slowly take your time and as it gets to the point where you're seeing the on the terminal display, um, everything lining up. And you're now locked on top of the Yojimbo, and you have an access port that you can now travel between the two. Right, oh. but I'm still with Io by myself mm-hmm. in the fighter right yeah. now. <clears throat> Io, don't think I've forgotten about the holocron that was stolen from us. Oh, I haven't either. I fully intend to get to the bottom of that. Absolutely. But for now, Let's go uh, liberate some hut property, shall we? It's my favorite thing to do. Bird, question for you. Yeah. Are uh, Caleb and Virgo on the Ujimbo within earshot of Co One and Herg towards the front of the ship, or are they? Where are they? Uh, it depends. So the Ujimbo, again, from your time on it, it's a very tight knit ship. So there's a hangar. Uh, cargo area in the back where they keep a bunch of boxes and supplies. Very tight quarters where there's like a few bunks, a refresher, yeah. like a loading station, workstation, and then it's the cockpit's right there. So hypothetically, as these two ships were talking, were you up in the front watching it or were you just making yourself at I home? would say that I actually went to a back corner and just sort of sat and <laughs> just... Like how did I get involved <laughs> with this? Just yeah. I would okay. be in the front. Okay. So Virgo is in the uh, the cargo area, but uh, Caleb is kind of behind your shoulder. Herga just doing Chewbacca shit. Just doing co-pilot Chewbacca <laughs> shit. Just <laughs> click, click, click. Yeah. 
<laughs> and sees that none of it's necessary. It's Caleb is back there. I mean, hmm. <laughs> uh, but decides not. Are you to. saying Chewbacca is unnecessary? <laughs> no, no, just that none of it's needed. You don't need to flip all those switches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Do you know how many scenes in Star Wars somebody's going? <laughs> yep. And that's you're saying. <sighs> go ahead, continue. <laughs> So the ships have docked, <laughs> yeah. right? So you have her know what you think about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. How uh, necessary. That's above board. <laughs> above board. That's not. So the ships have docked. You guys are still up in the other fighter. Yeah, momentarily. Okay. So was there something. Specific? You're good. All right. Okay. So. I climbed down to. Okay. So. Take back my ship. The way that this. <laughs> not you, forcefully. I like. I yeah. Like Come yeah. too. You. Climb through the kind of connecting tube between both of it, and you're popped out basically right next to the front of the Yojimbo. Um, and I, are you staying on the fight or are you going back aboard the Yojimbo? Um, so far, I would be the only one left mm -hmm. on the. Well, I'll stay here just because somebody has to stay up here. Yeah. 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 You kind of stretch out because now you have this whole <laughs> ship. All to myself. She's all alone. That's how I like it. Um, okay. So everyone's in their appropriate spots. Is there anything in particular that anybody wants to do? I just want to, uh, I'll, for now I'm just going to supervise the flying of our, uh, our friend here, Co one seems to be a fairly yeah. bang up job. Yeah. I just wanted to clarify that like, um, I'll just drop the re, uh, she, uh, Virgo was very affected by the woman asking about her sister. Um, and also just like the prior mission being, you know, back somewhere where she had, or just sort of in the company of somewhere that she had a very bad experience. So, like, that's why. So you're just, you're kind of self-reflecting in the she's, Yeah, and she's dealing with it with kind of humor, but it's like, she's still real messed and up. And then, so you're now by yourself yeah. in this, so all you're seeing she, around I just, you. I just grabbed a blanket and I'm just like, not, nah, I just need to like. You're just focus on kind yeah. of what's going on in your head. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to clarify, yeah. Is there anything you do besides just sitting there? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna walk back to the to the back area where Virgo is. <clears throat> Virgo. Are you alright? I've I... been sensing some heightened emotions from you since we left the base. You can sense that? Yes. These head tresses aren't just for looks, you know. <laughs> yes, um Yes. I'm not all right. You want to talk about it? Not right now, I don't. Fair enough. <clears throat> Herg, you're doing a great job with all the co-piloting, flipping switches and things. It is. It's very, it's, <laughs> it's very, very necessary. It is. Necessary. It's extremely important. The, Essential. the Ojimbo would not be flying without you. One time somebody didn't do this and the ship crashed and everyone died. Right. Fortunately, it wasn't this ship and we have you. <laughs> yes. We are all fortunate to have one another. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Co-1 has continued to move, but senses something and gets up and sees that you're there and is like, the captain's chair is for the captain. Oh, okay. Uh, and just walks back out of the cockpit. There's like a droid recharging station. Oh, okay. And just <laughs> and kind of crumples back into himself mm -hmm. to like a storage position, just charging on this uh, droid station. All right. Well, I guess I better fly the ship now then, <laughs> since Co One just decided it was done. How's Co One looking? Can I go over and see if yeah. he's? I'd like to go see if he's in shape while he's recharging. Yeah. And if he's going to be in there with us. So real no quick, uh, Kilar, you're going to do an astrogation check. Okay. Mm -hmm. and we'll just plug this in while you're. I'm just laying on the ground. Yeah. I'm making snow angels on the bottom because <laughs> I have this okay. whole cabin to myself. So I'm just enjoying and breathing in. I am locked quiet. In. Yeah, I'm it locked in too. It's going to be two purple. Two purple. Okay. So you go look at this droid. Right, um, it's you're starting to remember stories you've heard about the Clone Wars and these droids, and you've seen parts and chunks of them throughout your <laughs> adventures. Um, this one in particular yeah. looks as if it has been recently manufactured, like 
straight out of a factory. <clears throat> um, it's strange though because the markings on it don't indicate that it was, it doesn't have the right um, kind of like serial numbers uh, of anything, anything, this particular unit of anything that was from <clears throat> the, uh, um, the CIS, the Confederacy for uh, the Clone Wars. It has just these weird markings of these like rebel stamps as if it's being manufactured by this like rebel um, base. Mm. I got a failure with an advantage. Okay. So you lock in the coordinates to the best of your abilities. Great. You're Fantastic. Just, yeah. So Jeez. since his we're recently, not going to go where we were supposed to, but the place we end up is going to be better. <laughs> since his droid has been recently made, is he in good shape, good condition? Yeah, pristine, absolutely, one hundred percent. Good to know. Um, you also notice that uh, he, because he wasn't brandishing it, or he wasn't brandishing it. There's a blaster. He's has a so with battle droids, there's ones that have to be connected to kind of a centralized brain, and then there's the more independent ones. It's an independent one, so it has its own like processing pack, and then strapped into that pack is a blaster rifle, so it is armed. Okay. <clears throat> um, so you've navigated uh, what you think is gonna be Nar and sure. you're ready. Is there anything else that anybody wants to do? I just want to like, shoot get up and ready myself, get all my weapons together. Are we almost there, Captain? So you pull the lever back mm -hmm. and everything- Jump into hyperspace. Kind of fades around you as you jump into hyperspace. So you're, there's a little bit of time between Mon Calamari and Nar Shaddaa if anyone wanted to do anything in particular. <sighs> I'd say be ready for anything. Can He's... We, <clears throat> do we have access to the data net? Yeah, the holonet, yeah. The ship, the holonet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over to, Herg is gonna head over to the holonet, sit down in front of the console, oh. log in, mm -hmm. search, that he searches for quite often. Aww. It's a name, and the name is M Res. M Res. M apostrophe R E S S. M Res. To see if anything's going to turn up for Herc. Roll your computers. <laughs> okay. Oops. All right. Uh, not so smart. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. While Herg is focusing on the holonet, is there anything, so it's gonna be two purple and one red. I'm gonna use the one proficiency we Okay. Mm -hmm. Take it. And anything else? Uh, I'll add a setback to that. <laughs> two successes with two disadvantages. So three successes. Three. Uh, so yeah. yes, and we uh, that will be the last day because we've gone oh. an hour in. But yes, so three successes, right. two disadvantages. Um, you're scrolling through the holonet, kind of pinging a lot of keywords that you've just assumed that you're looking for, but it's been like a vain uh, search at this point for how, how long and you've done it. But as you start kind of going through the normal of searches that you do and then start to get more abstract as you're trying to figure out what, anything, anything. Um, you realize that your ship, while having been docked uh, aboard the Mon Calamari cruiser, was connected to the Rebel Alliance network. And as you start typing things, you get pings that the name that you typed in, there's like a hit, there's a search, um, and as you go to click on that file, you're shut out of the network. <clears throat> Herg has a little mini panic attack. He looks around to make sure that nobody notices, and he tries anything he can to bookmark, save, find oh. that same path so that he can look at it later. It's been, it's take, it's been, you're, tr you're accessing mm -hmm. like a military network mm -hmm. and you've been kicked out of that. Aww. It is Up lost. as far as before I got kicked out. Okay. That's where I want to save. You, you know that you have to, that, un understood. You have to be connected to the Rebel Alliance network. network. Yeah. Is that what it is? If okay. you think you can get back into that, 
maybe you can get back to that point. Okay, okay. So Herb looks around and sort of closes everything down. Where, where is this on the ship in relation <clears throat> to where I am? So if you're still kind of hanging out at the yeah. uh, cockpit, it's like directly behind you, there's like this. Do I sense any emotions coming from him though? Uh, do your perception on this. Oh, cool. Yeah. These are for it. All right. Maybe that's to get everything out of there. Perception is two and it's coming. Just two, so they're both, so it's two uh, yellow, right? Or no, green, right? If you have two ranks, have two, it's two I yellow, two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's two yellow, okay. And then it's going to be uh, two purple. Then that's I'm good. And I'm good. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's Ooh. bad. So you're <laughs> feeling that's three, three facts. you're that's feeling that there's definitely some level of distress that's happening in the ship, but you write it off as uh, Virgo your conversation back in the hangar. So you're getting this feeling of that there's there's distress and it's increased now. You're just assuming that it's just a heightened state of the situation before. So you <clears> just it. write it off. In the data that was transferred to us about this mission to Narshada, is there any info on like current events on Narshada or something that would be useful going into the planet? The intel that you have is being provided by the Fruch. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not gonna stop laughing at that name. <clears throat> yes, continue. Uh, the information <laughs> is, it seems like there's been after the incident with the <laughs> Rebel Alliance. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. The Hut cartels used it as a way to consolidate their power within the region, and okay. then also consolidate their power with the Empire because they've kind of relayed information to them. So there's been almost on in the normal scenario where hut space is kind of its own, even more so because the empire is completely leaving it kind of to uh, its own ends, right? Um, and that has led to a relative level of prosperity for the huts within this thing because they're not uh, being... Um, the empire has no jurisdiction on correct. this particular mm -hmm. move. Yeah. And the planet below, I would assume, as well. Correct. All right. Now we're supposed to be posing as uh, like we're delivering something. You have supplies. We as, do have the supplies yeah. on the mm -hmm. ship. We know yep. what we're delivering. Yep. Do we know what, what it you is? Just, you just saw crates um, that were in the yeah. cargo bay. Sure. Can I take a look at yeah, that? I'm going to go take a look and see what's in the crates <laughs> without damaging it or anything. Do I have access to the hollow net? You do on okay. your ship. Then I am tr triggered by the conversation that I had with captain about the hol holocron. Yeah. I am going to look up Ralph of the Hut. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to start tracking this holocron down. Ralph of the Hut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. We've that, had but... contact with the right hand of the right hand. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not anymore. That's true. We is, were going to get the hut. Uh, his cousin Rafi the hut. This incredible <laughs> children's music. It's a it's a <laughs> it's a lady hut actually. I mean her brother. <laughs> her Great children's kind of musician. Hut. Yeah, it's hard to tell. tell. Yeah. You go to the crates. Yeah. And it seems like all of them are just more boxes of the like nutrient paste mm -hmm. that uh, Co One had brought aboard. So it's just right. boxes and boxes and boxes. Nutrient you check a few of them to make sure, like maybe there's something hidden in it. No, it seems to be all kind of food and a little bit of medical supplies, like some humanitarian aid. Okay. What is that stuff called? And Liquids. Yeah, liquid protein. Protein. Mm -hmm. uh, you're searching mm -hmm. the holonet for yeah. anything in particular. Uh, anything particular, I just want to get as much intel as I can about Ralph of the Hut and basically her network. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and use your computers. Computers. Uh, actually, oh. no, no, no. You know what? Battery's low. You're what gonna actually that? use... Uh, Are we plugged in though? Skill, uh, your knowledge skill of the underworld. Oh, where's that? Uh, the right side. Okay. <laughs> underworld. <laughs> Nothing in that. Low battery. Okay. Yeah. It's saying low battery. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is going on? Uh, it's gonna be three purple. Three purple. Okay. Yep. Uh, 
out of here. Ah, oh, does Caleb have to fix everything? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I want to use it. Too. I want to use it like an iPad. I use the computer. So there's, there's terminal stations throughout the ship. Great. Uh, so we're not waiting in line. Yeah, so you can. I'm going to go. Fuck yeah, Caleb just team, fixed this shit. And I want to look myself up. Okay. So. <laughs> you're going to Google yourself essentially? I need to Google myself. <laughs> you look yourself up and you kind of, as you type it in. Yeah, is it working? I also have physical dice. Welcome to Pencils and Parsecs, the show where you watch them through the internet, and in the show, they use the internet. It's oh, great. battery. It's so meta. It's a um, low battery, 15%. OK. Yeah. No, did you spit on, I spit on you? No, you spit on my arm. I spit on her OK, arm. I'll see if I can do this roll before it. Yeah, I'll um, So OK, so how many purple you said? It's going to be three I spit every time I say the fruit. OK, anything and else? Lena, and you have a boost. I'm going to use the boost. You have something wrong with you. It's wrong with me. And I'm going to add another purple to it. Another purple? OK, yep. we good? Yep. Nothing's wrong with you. So remember, remember that show, The Land of Fruits? So, God. I need to look myself up. I don't One success. Have... You are looking through, and it seems the only um, real article that <laughs> piques your interest is the fact that there was some sort of incident on Tatooine mm -hmm. that involved both, uh, <laughs> that started some sort of struggle between huts. It was between Jabba the Hutt okay. uh, and uh, and her, and it's causing a ruckus amongst the Hutt families because normally everyone tries to get along, but it's unclear what this incident was. You're kind of reading this article, and it's like a, almost a quasi conspiracy theory um, site. So you're trying to gleam as much information that's actually there, but he starts making these links towards this like explosions that happened on like the marketplace and how it was this catalyst for this whole thing and he this is all a ploy by the Empire to come crack down and he starts going off on this huge long kind of elaborate uh, theory about what this whole thing was. But you do realize mm -hmm. that there's something that happened on Tatooine that caused this conflict. Um, but that's really all that you got. Okay. And Virgo, you type yourself in and nothing <laughs> pops Google up. Yourself. <laughs> Can I look up something else? Sure. Can I look up the name Isotalia? You can. Isotalia. Please. <laughs> Thank you for spelling the easy part. No, no what's that called? The, the, yeah, the... An apostrophe. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's what that's called. Um, nothing is coming up on the global network. Okay. I breathe a sigh of relief. So, Kilara, you've been in the pilot seat this whole, unbeknownst to you, your entire crew immediately <laughs> just starts going on the internet. On the internet. <laughs> what else is there to do? Typical. <laughs> is there anything you're trying to, you're just, you're getting yourself ready for? I'm trying to pilot the ship and get it to yeah, Nar Shaddam. It's, you're finding that, again, you're in hyperspace, so you, you kind of let the ship do its own thing. Right. But the added kind of weight of this other starfighter on top of it mm -hmm. is making it more difficult to control. Clearly you're attached to this thing. You have to move at a lower mm -hmm. speed mm -hmm. because you're... Right. So, um, yes. Herg is doing his internet thing, internet stretching out. In it. Uh, and then, Caleb, you, you looked at the droid. Is anyone else? <laughs> have some new. You, please, please, please do. Like, you don't have... Check my, I check my Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> See how many likes it. So, as everyone starts to go into this process of <laughs> doing what they can in the f their free time aboard the ship, you've left a larger ship to go to a smaller ship, and you're still kind of yes. What information do we have about the fruitch? The fruitch. All you have in your um, document. Where's the hat? Is he wears a very distinct hat. There's a picture of it. It's like almost kind of like a weird. Um, I don't know what they're called. Um, oh, oh, it has like a shape, like yeah, it's like a weird beret. shape. It's an like, interesting shape. It's like, they're like like a like a, a newsies fedora? hat, kind of like, like a golf, oh, like a, oh, yeah, yes. like a duck build golf hat. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. one yes. Of those, one of those. One of those like yeah. snap ones. It's like a caddy hat. Mm -hmm. um, but besides that, oh your our contact is Chevy Chase. <laughs> Files that you're seeing that have been. There's a lot of stuff that's been redacted in it, as 
the information that's been given to you is that this rebel agent has been deeply undercover within the crime um, kind syndicate. Of syndicate, um, and it's been slowly feeding intel to the Rebel Alliance. Um, really, all you get is that he's uh, deeply respected and right. feared within. Narshada itself, sure. his persona that he is kind of taken over. And all we know about him is his hat. You have a picture. I mean, there's a picture okay. of him. There's a picture of him. It's a human male. He's got like a, a beard. All right. Um, Herg relays all of that information to Captain. I don't know if everybody has, uh, if we have the same mm -hmm. information yeah. available. Yeah. And then Herg we're says, all, it's all our comms. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's all on our comms. Yeah. And uh, Herg then says, Captain, like I said before, I feel as if this, the fruit character can be trusted, but it also says that he has been deep undercover for quite a while, and I have been known to be wrong about these things in the past. What makes you so sure we can trust him, Herg? I can't describe it. There's something about the information that we have that makes me feel as if I know him, as if he is a, an old friend. <laughs> But well, again, I have been known to be wrong about these things in the past. <laughs> well, we trusted Randall, and that didn't turn out quite as terribly as it could have. I feel like I never trusted Randall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we tolerated him, yes. so I don't know. Might as well go in with a positive attitude, and well, we can <clears throat> turn things around if that needs to happen. Tell you what, better idea, since we're going to the smuggler's moon, maybe we don't go in with such a positive attitude. That way we blend in a little better. Good thinking. Yeah. Caleb, good thinking. Also, Herb, did you just volunteer yourself to be the per person who makes first contact? I think he did. I think he did, too. I guess I did. <laughs> yeah, remember you saying he seems like a good person. Yes. Oh. So, again, you're continuing to move through hyperspace from Mon Calmari to Narshada. And so there's some time. So in between, everyone's kind of doing what they can, going back and forth. People are taking like their own free, they're treating the Starfighters like the free space zone. So people, some people will go up, have some free time, come down, everyone's going through. Um, eventually your sensors start to go off, mm -hmm. indicating mm -hmm. that you will be coming out of hyperspace soon. All right. What do you guys do? I get ready to possibly uh, justify myself to whoever hails us as we attempt to uh, land on this planet. Now, heads up, we're not delivering anything exciting. All we have is more of this protein paste back there. So well, do medical supplies. Hey, it's not my job to know what I'm carrying. Trust me, it's always good to know what you're carrying. Sure, but whoever we talk to on Nar Shaddaa doesn't need to know that. No, they don't. The alarms uh, that are going off trigger uh, Co One to reactivate, mm. and your yeah, sleep is good. <clears throat> Nap time's over, Co. It's almost go time. <laughs> Roger, yeah, Roger. That's the worst bumper sticker ever. <laughs> Almost go time. Almost go. We're not quite saving, there. saving, <laughs> saving. Oh God, he's gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> time now. Captain, <laughs> basic is not my first language. I am sorry. But wouldn't his name be Cool One? It is. There cool. are multiple. Cool O's. One. When you write it, it looks like Cool. I was just calling him Cool. Cool. Oh, all right. Cool. Cool blue stripes. Oh, cool. Cool blue stripes. Oh. You can call and he has him whatever. Blue you. Suspenders on. Yeah. He is cool. Blue stripes. Oh. <laughs> Lives again. <laughs> cool. So cool. <laughs> is it, we're, we're good with cool. 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 Uh, you did that on purpose. <laughs> just, just kind of uh, stands at attention mm -hmm. as if he's waiting for orders. <clears throat> All right, we're about to see what we're dealing with in the space we, around Narshagah. Do we have information as to where we're supposed to be docking and the so 
um, kind of briefing that you got yeah. lays out everything. It shows you where you need to land, mm -hmm. or who your contacts are. Kind Set of the there, the, what exactly. Right. Contacts are. Okay, great. The shipments that you're going to be receiving in exchange for the mm -hmm. shipments they're dropping off. Sure. But that's kind of everything is mapped out until that point. Mm -hmm. And at that point, one of those workers will be telling you where the fruit mm -hmm. is. So until then, we improvise. <laughs> So every does anyone? So right now, to remind everyone, we have a starfighter that's attached to the top of the Jimbo. You're coming out of hyperspace, Narshada, and everyone's just doing what? I take my um, my scarf and kind of put it over my head. Is, this, is that weird? Is this weird to land like that? I was assuming that's a normal thing. Yeah. Now I'm feeling you're making me second guess this. I'm going with it's a normal thing. Yeah, it seems mm -hmm. pretty fucking normal. Yeah. Well, they do that. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. Also, that's a not to scale. I would like yeah, to remind yeah, everybody. Yeah, this is a ship for ants. <laughs> it's just right on top. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. everyone kind of is doing their thing. The ship comes out, and you're in the pilot seat. Yeah. Um, the ship comes out of hyperspace. You're much closer to Nar Shaddha than you had originally sure. uh, maybe had planned for these proper right. flight lines. Just makes the trip shorter. You see this green mm -hmm. kind of gross looking planet down on the ground knowing that it's now now Hutta where the Hutt's homeworld is and it's this kind of Ugh. swampy disgusting. I see where they get their appearance from. Um, but orbiting it is this as you move closer is this small moon that's brightly lit up. It's a, a mini course on it. It's, you're seeing this full city. Unfortunately you came out uh, mm -hmm. really closer to um, the Moon. Satellite, the moon, um, almost right on top of another ship that's queuing up in this line. So can you do a real quick piloting check? Sure. May the tides be with you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll be right back. All right. I'm locked in. It's well, going to be going to the other two purple I and one red. So. And one red, well, who knows what Hug's thinking at any given time. Well, I'd imagine 50% of no, the time it's just food, <laughs> apparently. Sorry, I put one too many purples. Oddly, 30% of the remaining time is children. Oh, and how, right. and how far thing. to throw? <laughs> and how far to throw children? Oh my God! Team. How many boosts did you guys get? <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, man, that was awesome. Yes. Well, we need to get into some crazy stuff then. And I got two Please successes and two disadvantages. Oh, you two, rolled it? I, no, I, I rolled before we got the boost. Oh, okay. I was. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. 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 So you got two. I failed. Oh, I failed, failed miserably. With disadvantage. Damn it, fruit. So again, you were kind of. Everyone was having this conversation, they're doing the things, and you come out of hyperspace, oh crap, and you start to kind of move it. Um, as you do so, um, you're, the top of this fighter starts scraping oh, what's going on? The, the metal of the ship that you, Berg, you should buckle up. try to uh, evade. <laughs> okay, I'll buckle up. Um, and you're... I strap myself in. Board, everyone kind of gets mm -hmm. tossed about a little bit. Oh, great. Your board starts just on three, three, two, flashing three. as if there's a bunch of different ships trying to ping you, probably <laughs> telling you something. <laughs> not right, right. Really so do do this sure. one. Not on Buck Rogers. Okay. But you, two, you've three. made it. So you, you know that you've done something. You've made a little bit of a scene. Uh -huh. So you've made a scene. You've uh, uh. scraped. You've done some unknown damage, possibly to the Starfighter. Right. Uh, Did you mean to do that? But you've made it out, and you're now moving towards Narshada. Sure. I mean, I'm just making an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Good. I trust. I trust you. Okay. So, kind of leaving that behind, and yeah. it's and it, and it causes like a huge um, like traffic mm -hmm. lane jam. So the, there's a bunch of whatever commercial. traffic but laws don't apply to me. <laughs> you've you've kind of left this chaos behind you sure. in your wake. You're instantly having flashbacks to when you accidentally clipped a TIE fighter. Right. It's kind of, it worked out <laughs> for you, so you kept on going. <laughs> um, and you're making it towards the landing area that's indicated in your briefing. Um, <clears throat> unless the, that's not where you tend to go. No, I intend to go there. As everyone kind of recovers from this, is there anything <laughs> in particular that anyone's doing? I mean, Herg feels he can intrinsically trust the fruit, so I'm on course to meet this character. Okay. Uh, 
As long as he's the one that's going to get killed if the fruit isn't trustworthy. Well, let's say Herg will be the first one to know if Herg is wrong. <laughs> Cool. Yes, Herg will be the first to you know hear uh, the robotic mm-hmm. feet mm-hmm. of uh, Cool mm-hmm. uh, behind you, and right. he, he plops into the co-pilot's chair. Uh huh. And you're seeing, uh, looks like him assisting you on your console as you're flying closer. Um, uh, have you? Been to Narshada before? Cool, you seem real comfortable just hopping right in there. Okay. No, I just figured that, you know, you almost did the thing, you were trying to send, uh, you know, out I, I, here to help. You sound like you've cleared up. A <laughs> this droid sleep is so good. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna I get like it. that. Yeah, I like that. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it's just like broken as if like it started to try to Make the it. laugh is Ko's laugh uh, but it's like broken on a record like he's <laughs> the file isn't really work uh, and then it shuts off the voice and then continuing to fly so as you guys go right you enter the atmosphere of Narshadai you're seeing if you've been to Coruscant it's a sh- shadier version of that it's a huge planet mm. there's uh Ships flying I about. Um, the fruit. I keep thinking the fruit. We're gonna get there, and it's gonna be Henry Winkler. And it's gonna be like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's making me laugh. This is the fruit. <laughs> the fruit. He's got his leather jacket on. <laughs> his ridiculous bar. hats. Hey! I also picture that, but that <laughs> makes me trust him. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to with uh, right. Cool's help. Kind of land. It's difficult because you're now entering in atmosphere, right? Uh, with a ship on top ships. of you, mm-hmm. so you're going slow. Mm-hmm. And as you're doing it, like people are kind of the equivalent of like yelling at you as you're maneuvering through this traffic. Mm-hmm. But you land, and and you hear a little bit of this weight as the starfighter on top again is kind of pressed down on mm-hmm. top, uh, the top. Right. Part of the Ujimbo, but you're now landing in <clears throat> this hangar kind of platform. It's right next to like a warehouse where you're seeing a lot of supplies <clears throat> moving to and from, but you've <clears throat> finally made it to Narshada. All right. All right. All things considered, that was easier than I expected. Didn't mm-hmm. have to justify ourselves to anybody to land. That's. We're not being attacked right off the bat. Good work. Um, and any that. landing you can walk away from, right? Exactly. <laughs> Captain, do we need disguises for this mission? Probably not. Narshada is full of all kinds of wretched villainy, but you know, if you see anything on board to make yourself look more suspicious, I say go for it. I shroud everything but my eyes. <laughs> okay. With my scarf. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think we all look suspicious enough. Yeah. So I completely agree. As I love the idea of like a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> like novelty <laughs> glasses <laughs> laying somewhere in the I ship. draw on a mustache. <laughs> um, as everyone's collecting their gear mm-hmm. and getting ready to leave, you all kind of assemble in uh, the hangar. Right. Um, next to the cargo lift. Cool is there as well, blaster in hand. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm ready to go. All right, cool. You might want to like just keep the blaster at the ready, but not like physically threatening people. Does that compute for you? You see, like its head kind of swivel back and forth as it processes. You know, and Captain, is there a reason for a cool to come with us? Am I missing something? <laughs> I mean... Is he integral to this mission in some way, or would it be more effective to have him stay with the ship and guard that? I guess you bring up a fair point. I mean, I like droids as much as the next guy. (laughs) Oh, yes, we all, we love, we all love droids. I mean, some of our best friends are droids. We're definitely pro-droid. But you should stay on the ship. That's true. Yes. You did such a good job of keeping our ship safe while it was docked at the rebel base. We just thought that would be a good job for you to do here too. So Cool pulls out the blaster again and that holds it and it's like, Roger, Roger. No one will get on board or I'll kill all of them. Oh my okay. God. Maybe take them captive first. 
processing, processing. Non-lethal options activated. But lethal options can be activated yes, you, you in the event of an emergency. To. Processing, processing. Both lethal and non-lethal. Okay. First, first go for, for non-lethal, and if that doesn't work, go to lethal. You see? This is just like the scene in Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> it's Roger, Roger? And I think he's gone. Good enough. Let's go. Do not lethal. <clears throat> Can we exit the ship in slow mo? Can we all walk <laughs> yeah. in slow mo and exit the ship, please? Yes. As With a ship. Have to roll for that. No, no, no. So, so the danger zone. In, in your head, in your head, you're getting ready for this thing, and <laughs> the the lift is going down in slow motion, steam <laughs> around you, <laughs> playing behind you, uh, and you all just do the slow walk off of the lift, and you're seeing uh, the not so tight view of just. Things going on, but two two technicians walk up to you and they they pause, and you just see a look on their face as if they're kind of awestruck for a moment of just this band of people emerge from the bottom of this list. They're musical accompaniment. Yeah, like is that the Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah. Pop pop pop. <laughs> so then they kind of collect themselves and they approach you. It's it's uh, a, a human male and a twilight male, and they approach and they go, uh, "Yes, the Yujimbo, you guys are on our manifest. Um, where, where where was your um, your port of origin? What does it say on our yeah, what information? It? What was our point of origin?" I mean, port technically, port. It was Mon port Col- technically it was Mon Calamari, right, but... but what does it say in our cover? Yeah, it would say that in, mm-hmm. our, in our briefings, right? Yeah. It would have said it in your briefings, and it does not say Mon Calamari. What does it say? Yes. Uh, it says that you came from uh, uh, Corellia. Corellia? Cor- Cor- Corellia. Cor- 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 oh, okay. Corellia, of course. Yeah. As it states. Yes, and you have the cargo? Indeed we do. Protein. Everything on the manifest is here. Perfect, all right. And the Twilight kind of motions for the guy. I guess we have your... No, what Twilight is... Twilight Twilight? is like the... With the... the They also... Twilight. Twilight, like the dancing girl in the the head tails. The the dudes look like Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna. Yeah, yeah, Bib Fortuna, exactly, okay. Um, Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Fat teeth. Yeah. (sighs) Bit like the fruit. So the human breaks off and starts going to collect. Uh, there's like a repulsor lift with a box on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other <clears throat> toilet look, turns into you and he's like, okay, so um, look, I don't have much time until he gets back because he's actually not a part of this, but you're gonna go find the fruit at Little Corson. It's a bar that's farther in. Oh, a bar. Um, just whatever you do. Um, well, he's, he's an interesting character when you meet him. Just be sure to not don't touch his jacket. Don't, don't, don't. Mention the hat. Definitely don't mention the hat. Um, oh. But just. Isn't he wearing it of his own free will? <laughs> Why would we not? Trust oh, me when I mind. say don't get him angry. Okay. And by this time the other person showed up. Uh, the cargo lift has already gone back up on the Ujimpo and is coming back down with Cool, who has pushed a bunch of the crates um, <clears throat> onto it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give them the crates, and yes. we'll, I got this, Captain. And if they try anything, I'll lethally not shoot them <laughs> lethally. Ha 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 It goes back to like goes. <laughs> Droids, am I right? <laughs> so they just get, if I think it's convoluted when we give them directions. Right. Mm. Thank you, K0001. As the human and the Twilight have now focused on this, you guys start to leave and you hear uh, the kind of the exchanging of stuff. And mm-hmm. as the lift goes back up, you hear, cool, one more time, it's almost go time! And then like, <laughs> it closes back inside. Uh, but now you're on Nar and you're making your way through. So you're kind of going through uh, the streets because you've 
were indicated where little Corson is. Mm -hmm. It's this Great. bar that's in this shade. Does there seem to be any immediate threat? Should we have any weapons ready or anything? Or? There's plenty of people walking around. People are openly walking around armed. Yeah. Um, okay, so we can be armed yes. if we want. So I'll just uh, I'll just take out my. Well, my people walk around with their stuff showing with their guns it's showing yes, or like holster. this. It's everyone has weapons. I'll make weapons sure holster. mine's yeah. mine showing my model seventy seven. Okay. Just, so you kind yeah. of have this uh, air rifle that's yeah, out. it's just out. You're not pointing at anybody. No, of but. course not. Okay, Captain, is there a specific time we are supposed to be meeting the fruits, or? Do we have time to yes, stop and eat a delicious meal? Hmm? Well, I'm not sure if Little Coruscant serves food. It's a bar. It probably has small, small I'm appetizers. sure there's something to eat, but uh, probably nothing delicious. Exactly. It's a bar. <laughs> I think we've earned a four-star meal. <laughs> Do you really? We're not going to get a four-star meal in my yeah. Here. It's there everyone's are, awful there here. There are people of many stars here. If you can lower your expectations to one and a half stars, <laughs> I'm sure I can find you something. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying we have the cre I have the credits. It would be my treat. Sure. Drinks are on her. Okay. As you're yes. walking <laughs> hungry. kind of through Good these food. different... You're, you, you pass an area where there's... It's not like a restaurant, it's not like a four star or five star mm -hmm. establishment. It's just people serving kind of like a street carts. Yes. Uh, but you're getting this uh, very distinct oh, aroma different of different smells. smells street and stuff. food can be fantastic. I think we should try it out. <clears throat> sure, yes. But also, I want to go to a nice restaurant at okay, some point. Okay, well, let's skip sure, this. Let's, we'll go why don't to we go to a little Coruscant, hit up the bar. We're supposed to meet the fruit <laughs> and then get some food. I'm sure the fruit can suggest somewhere. get some fruit. Fruit. <laughs> After all, the he's fruit will know. Fruit. I believe this name, by the way. I can't stand it. The fruit. Yeah, I mean, he's <laughs> deep in on the. If Nash anything Nash happens to the fruit, I'm going to yell. <laughs> fruit. Well, we happens. haven't met him yet, so let's go. Do no, that. knowing you, if something bad will probably happen. Probably. Yeah. The what? Oh, the tablet. Fair enough, Sorry. but as soon as this mission is a success, we will find one of the best restaurants in the galaxy. Yes, I think that's a great idea. Consider it a done deal. It's almost as if uh, there's a new motivation for her. His, <laughs> his motivation is at some point, Thank you. sit down and have <laughs> this experience yes. with those around And we will, and I'm hungry too. It's yeah. just not quite as pressing <laughs> as it is for her. <laughs> Um, I am much larger than all of you, so my stomach is... Much larger. Yes. <laughs> it's fine. Yes. said you're paying, so I'm suddenly much hungrier. Yes. Uh, I know. <laughs> you continue to move through these streets. Yes. Um, is there anything cool to buy? Um, that you can buy pretty much anything on Nar Shada if you know exactly where to go. Is there something particularly looking for? I don't know where to go. Yeah, that's unfortunately. Uh, but as you're kind of taking it in, because it's a large, it's a very interesting place, mm -hmm. to say the least. Um, a little child oh God. runs out across the street in front of you <laughs> and stops. Don't and wait. And <laughs> seems dumbstruck by this nine foot tall cat creature that's in front of you. What, yes. is, what is its name? Are it's you name? asking its yes. name? <laughs> no. I, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> So as Io instinctually reaches out yes. to... I don't know. I stop. What is... Oh, I see. The boy shifts his gaze mm -hmm. from the nine-foot-tall cat creature to Io. Did and I stops. throw a cat in the past? And then it looks over at Virgo and tilts its head and stops. And then it looks over at Caleb, looks, stops, and starts to back up. And it looks at Kilara, slowly starts stepping backwards. Virgo, roll your perception. Oh. I've never used this before. <laughs> My perception is, oh, OK, so it's. So, okay, wait, so it's cunning. So I have two 
of these, right. one of these. Mm -hmm. right. And you're gonna add. Boost. Boost. You're gonna, you're gonna oh, before you oh. do, before you add the boost, it's gonna be three purple on this. Oh. Okay. So you're gonna add three purple dice, and okay. then you can add as many of I'm gonna damn take boosts. Two, four boosts. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. My yeah. rule of thumb is I like to just outnumber the purple ones, same, however many same. they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do I? How do I? Wait. 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 Oh wait. I'm gonna add what? another black dice to that. Yep. That's then fun, just hit a blank spot on the. Okay. And the green is roll. The black is blank. Hey yo! Two, two successes and oh, six shows advantages. You. I was yeah. wondering how you guys are doing it so yeah. fast. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Yes, two, two successes, six advantages. Dang. So as this child was slowly making its, kind of looking at everyone, Virgo, when, you, when it looked at you and its eyes locked on, again, you only have uh, your eyes showing I've because made you've clover. made uh, material to cover it. You still feel like a sense of dread momentarily as this child lingers on you all, seemingly for uh, longer than should be usual. But when you focus on the kid, you see some sort of um, like reflection in its eye, as like, if you know that it's not a, a real eye, but is someone's watching through the child? A um, augmented eye. And it, you kind of like see that it's uh, a fake eye that's presumably recording something. And the child sprints off. Uh, is there any way to catch the child? Or no? He's running through the crowd. Herg, forget what I did. Go get that kid. <laughs> I'm tracking this child. <laughs> oh my oh god. I will have the boy. Your reputation. <laughs> <laughs> it will be mine. Oh yes. <laughs> you, you're gonna use your athletics. All right. Oh, so yes. can I? Can, is there any way? Is there any way for me? You. To you. Say, well, but does he know that? He, he yeah. Actually, know yeah. yeah. None of no, nobody knows no this information. Well, that's just really suspicious, though. This kid. Well, I mean, you she. Know, you can, you eyeballs every something. single one of us in the yeah. runs. What is yeah. going to? I want to sort of. Um, I'm going to walk off to the. I'm gonna nod my head and everyone walk off to the side sort of an alley or something. Yeah. And then I'm okay. just going to say, that child had an augmented eye. It was clearly recording us. Cow! <laughs> also, he seemed awfully suspicious of a bunch of alien creatures for someone who's been living on Nar Shaddaa. Exactly. That's what tipped me off. So now you're gonna use, so you've kind of Very pulled everyone aside. You're- Understood. Concerned, right? Because this is- Yes, I had so I had like PTSD from P them staring at me back at the Empire Base. So I'm like, Did I sense anything <laughs> emotionally? Yeah, it's, it's very apparent. So Virgo has kind of presented herself in one way, shape, or form as very kind of collective, and she does her own thing, right? But you sensed things in the Ujimbo, uh, Caleb, for the first time with your your tendrils. Right. Uh, but this isn't. You don't even need that. This is apparent. Something has shaken her. Uh, Virgo up a little bit. Now she's saying it, her sprints after this child. Rolling for athletics, how many purples? Uh, well, because you took, the kid got a head start. Sure. You were pulled off. So it's gonna be four purples. Getting close. Getting close to a tier one on that light. I'm gonna use two boosts. Two boosts? What else? I'm gonna use two setbacks. Ah, damn it. Mm. All right. And I yell out, but don't throw him! Yeah. Oh, because you, uh, you have one highlight? Is that what happened? Yeah, okay, yeah. you should be able to roll now. <clears throat> one advantage. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> this kid okay. moves with a speed um, that you were not prepared for. Starts, even though you're going in like full cat mode sprint, it's almost as if it has some sort of other, it just kind of just is running, it's running, it's running, senses you and just Something else just pushes this little child farther, right? And you just lose it in the crowd. And you see that it goes off in a direction, um, knowing where it went off to. Uh, and you, you know that that's the direction towards little Corsant, but you've lost the, the child. Herg is gonna continue tracking the mm -hmm. child. Okay. He's trying for the scent using his, his augmented senses. And then I- While hailing back to the team. Captain, I have lost visual on the child, but I'm going to keep tracking it. It is heading towards Little Coruscant. Right, yes, but that would lend itself to the idea that he's a minion of the fruit. <laughs> why are you laughing? Perhaps. <laughs> the name is so, so very funny now. to me. Listen, fruit. it might, might, be, might be an underling of the fruit. 
<laughs> at any rate. It's not getting better. <laughs> a minion. But he may be an enemy of the Empire. The True. At any rate, oh I don't see any disadvantage <laughs> in us continuing that on was above to our intended location. <laughs> Herg, you keep trying to track the boy. If it gets too far off course and you can't find him, then rendezvous with us at Little Coruscant. Understood. <laughs> Herg chases after this child, trying to right. find it. And you all are now moving towards the location. Little yes. Coruscant. Little yes. We won't um, get anywhere unless we meet with the fruit. You arrive. That's my kryptonite, is that word. Um, what, the fruit? And you, you get to this location, that's this bar. Um, and as you get there, uh, it I seems- you're swimming there? <laughs> <laughs> that's him cat running. Oh, I see. As if Herg had uh, frantically been running all over this area. Mm -hmm. Can you, can the cameras get there? Are they getting this? Okay, here we go. Just for you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forget that camera's Find here. I'm show. like, please, this has got to be for everyone. Oh. Public consumption here. And you've now kind of, you, Herg, you've been frantically running around this entire area and you've lost the scent of this child. Um, but Ooh. you come back in front of Ooh. Little Coruscant to regroup yes. with your team. But you've feel as if the kid vanished completely out of thin air. <clears throat> you lost him. Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. of course not. It's almost as if he disappeared. Well, perhaps he disappeared inside of the cantina, so I guess we might as well Let's go. proceed. It doesn't change anything. We have our contact to meet. Let's find him. All right. I suggest that we remain on our guard. Yes, we've been fruit bound. <laughs> oh, this, I can't say that. Boy. Right. You enter a uh, little croissant, and it's jam-packed with oh, all different God, types I hate of crowded places. Uh, different species uh, as there. Seems like this place is constantly uh, open and there's constantly a level of crowd of people who are trying to, no matter what time of day it is, Herg. drink. See if you can find him. You're taller than all of us. I use my tall. You use your tall. So <laughs> you use the tall. Use your perception real quick. That's mm. how tall people do it. Cool. All right. <laughs> Great. They have to roll yeah, every just, time you don't they just look around. Do you? Right. Yeah, you have uh -huh. to. <laughs> It's gonna be two purple, and you're gonna get a natural boost because you're tall. <laughs> Good. Nice. And I'm gonna use one like a uh, ability. Mm. Ooh, yeah, one ability. Okay. Oh, one ability. Sorry. One ability. Okay. I'm gonna have boost back. I'm locked in. Uh, I'm gonna use a difficulty. That's purple. Purple. Sorry. purple. That's right. Roll it. Should have the advantage. Three success. Oh, okay. Good. So good. Good. Your, your adrenaline is just kicked up because you've been running around trying to find. Uh, is he very the, sweaty? This, yes. Yes. Very yeah, sweaty. I so. You can't tell. I'm furry. <laughs> That's true. But you seem <laughs> upset that you've lost this child, so you re-tunnel, refocus all of that energy into finding the fruit. And as you Close look up around, on my eyes. <laughs> they open and then the little slits go real thin and then I see the fruit. <laughs> Zoom back out. And yeah. as you scan one way and you scan back, in the back corner, it, you recall the image of the briefing that you had. And it's a man who is wearing this hat, who has a jacket on in this booth, and bottles of alcohol are there. Yes. Different states of consumption and glasses. Undress. Oh. Herc <laughs> smirks. Like Herc smirks and bends down three feet to talk to the captain at her ear level. Ear level. Captain, yeah. I have found the fruit. He is in the northern west sector. But remember, don't say anything about his hat. Right. Got it. Mm. Lead the way. Take us to the fruit. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, Herc you can makes see. his way through the crowd in the club. <laughs> Oh, what's oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And as a crowd of people part, 
either because it's a nine foot tall cat creature, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. moves are so fly, or, or not. Or because uh, Caleb's busy right now. Great part. A waiter goes by with some glasses <laughs> on a cup, and I just pick up two and hand one to like Io. Like, <laughs> and then I put it back on another waiter. <laughs> As soon as I down it, <laughs> and oh keep going. <laughs> so I haven't heard yeah. we yeah. push their way through this crowd. Yeah. You guys are following them, uh, and you arrive at this booth uh, where there's a man who looks like the image in your briefing, um, who doesn't seem to acknowledge you. Again, there's all these bottles and all of these shot glasses that seem to either have been used and reused and like turned over. Anybody else sitting around? Right. No. Any security? Mm -hmm. Nope. All right. The right, fridge is, is big. Is there, a, is there like alcohol in one of the shot glasses? Uh, there's uh, a line of them in front of him as uh -huh. if he's been slowly kind of making Are they making full, his, any of them? The, the ones that are in front of him are full, but there's like a, a graveyard oh, of- I almost want to. Yeah. I'm just, I was gonna say, I'm yeah. just gonna sit down at the booth and I'm gonna take one of those shots. Do we, do we both, both have the same idea? Yes. Just so yes. sit and go, eh. Okay. <laughs> So you just plop in, just go reach straight for the drinks. Uh huh. Take the shots. Yep. Caleb. <laughs> I'll have a shot. I just elbowed <laughs> elbow. <laughs> like, I got Virgo elbowed me. Okay. <clears throat> Herg stands at the table, almost like security. Just like if the table's here, he just kind of decides to do what he's. <laughs> <laughs> like for the posse, for the crew. You know? <laughs> And uh, I'm right by her, but I take a seat at one of the bar stools and I enjoy this vodka soda that I still have in my hand. Perfect. <laughs> so as they kind of <laughs> perform... They vodka soda. Yes. In <laughs> Star Wars. That's what they drink. That's what they drink. Yep. Uh, it's the equivalent of. Yeah. The security yeah. for this, you guys plop down and instantly just reach for these drinks. Yep. And consume them. And you stare at this man who you know is the fridge. Right. And he doesn't... They acknowledge you at first. Finally looks up. It's like, well, that's a good sign. And he pops uh, the cork out of one of the bottles and instantly oh, goes yeah. to refill everyone's drink again. Mm. And he I knew that was going to either go very well or very badly. <laughs> Without saying anything, he lifts both up. <laughs> Double oh. fists it. Dang. To the tides. <sighs> so, yeah. I guess you're the team that's been sent to help me out on this. Yes, you would be correct. What do you know? Not much. We only, never seem to. Only that uh, there's a couple of... Rebel emissaries yes. who are sent here that need to be returned home. The huts have. Also, uh, before we start, we just ran into a child that seemed to have an augmented eye that was recording and it ran back towards this bar. Do you know anything about that? Should we be worried? He looked He's, at us very strangely. There was like a glassiness to him. You were kind of telling him of this information of like, hey, even the stuff that we don't know. You, when you say we tend not to, <clears throat> to know, like a, a, a brief smirk kind of emerges on his face as if he almost agrees with you on that statement that no one ever seems to know anything with these. Um, but he seems very distant until you mention the child with this kind of cybernetic augmented eye. And what's her name? Virgo. Say that again about this child. He had an augmented eye. It looked like it was recording us. He looked at us very strangely and then took off. We tried to catch him, but it was a futile attempt. How long ago was this? Not long. Ago. Minutes. Moments. He takes a whole bottle <clears throat> with him and just gets up. He's like, we gotta go right now. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> so he starts to walk off um, and then like looks back and takes two more of the shots that were there and just downs those, flips it back. Um, he's like, you take whatever and then just walks back off into the crowd. We follow, we follow him. Okay. Immediately. Yeah. Time seems to be the answer. So Herb rounds out the back. As you're making your way through, um, he, you emerge back out of Little Corson, and he just intently walks, uh, heading almost back in the direction that you guys came from I, to <clears throat> the 
landing platforms in the warehouses. Can I catch up with him? Catch yeah. up and say, do you care to elaborate? Not right here. Just. Okay. He looks around and he sees like an alleyway off to the side. And he motions for you to follow him. Okay. You heard stands at the alleyway entrance again. So. <laughs> <laughs> and as you crowd around, he sees that Herg is kind of taking a watch. He's like, okay, right. so. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you because uh, I understand you have no reason to trust me, but I'm just gonna say this. Um, there are no survivors. There are no um, rebel envoys anymore. They have been either killed or sent to the Empire. Um, I fed that information to Rebel Alliance because to be honest, uh, I was against this entire operation from the get-go. And despite my warnings, um, they disregarded it and decided to try and make deals with the Huts. Um, and it did not shock me when we were betrayed, but there were people's lives at stake. So at this point, um, I'm on a mission to get vengeance back. And so if you want to leave, I understand. Um, I know that your mission was to rescue these people. There are no people. Um, what that about said, the child? Somebody takes a moment, he's like, I don't know for sure, but I've seen this child around, and anytime I see this kid, something bad happens. People start, bodies start showing up. Hmm, you and mean presumably our bodies. We may have been marked. My plan originally was to go after um, the major domo of the hut uh, that was in charge of this whole deal that betrayed us because um, I wanted to get information from him. My goal is to ultimately kill this hut. Um, but it seems like we're kind of in a escalated standpoint because if you're saying you've been marked, I'm just gonna go forward with it, but I'm not asking you to drag yourselves into this if you don't want to. If anything, I'll respond back to the Rebel Alliance and tell them. But all drama aside, we've been paid for a specific mission, and uh, if we don't bring anyone back, I don't believe we're making any more money. So what would be in it for us, aside from making the universe a better place? How much were they gonna pay you to bring these two people the back? The other, what, 16,000 16, 16, credits. credits? We already have the first half. What if I paid you 25? I was in before you said that, but now I'm <clears throat> even more in. I'm in. How much would we get in advance? No advance. 30. 30%? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Are you, are you, are you trying to it, be aggressive with this or no. charming with this? I'm just. Okay, use your I'm charm. Just doing some business. And are Do you charm. raising the price from 25 to 30, or are you asking for 30% up front? Um. I thought you were asking for more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're asking for more money? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, take the boosts and abilities, I'm whatever you gotta do. Yep. Get us roll paid. Roll my charm. <laughs> this might be the most important roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will take. Um. Seven. Let's try and break the system. No, no, no. Oh my okay. god. You know what? I'm gonna clear the abilities. I'm gonna take those. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna take three boosts. Whoa! What? Well, here's the downside. It feels it's like just a, lying, you know. Yeah. Has his lying so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, three purple, three purple to begin with, but I'm gonna add one to make it four. Four? Four total. Yeah. Okay. And You're good. Do it. Bert is out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I don't like that you see this. Oh yeah. Three successes with six advantages. Oh wow! We'll One hundred thousand. We'll take your car and house too. Thirty. Thousand credits, credits when the mission is done. Each. <laughs> he starts to just walk. <laughs> just away. Right just, 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 I'm rolling. <laughs> Captain. E. e. Listen, I can't say no to that price tag, but I'm already not the most popular amongst the huts. 
What do you mean? I may have previously liberated a hut of some of her property. When you say that, he doesn't say anything, but you see slight micro expressions that. Emperor just kind of manifests out of the water. That was him? And he was like, Oh, well, that explains the like darkness and the drowning. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, as so he starts coming emperor, at you, though. he just starts shooting lightning at these Ewoks that have bombs strapped to them and they start flying. No! No! And the no! whole time, you know, that every time one of those Ewoks is killed, off in that village that you like rescued, the stormtroopers that showed up and they're just like killing Jawas for each oh. one. It's can just I like this radio Han and ask him because he owed me a favor. No, because Han, 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 Han. Han Solo and Chewie like crashed in the Falcon when uh, you were flying it. Oh That's right, God. they're dead. We killed them. We don't know that they're dead. Uh, they, well, they, they're probably dead. Uh, Look, you can put severed heads back on the Wookiees. We understand this. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> I like the first one before. Hopefully the first one <laughs> oh, and didn't. Uh, maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. We had it, it was great. Um, I thought you had to be like, an Emperor Palpatine is Snoke, and yeah. that's what's happening. Oh. <laughs> Started to go anyway. So if you stuck around, thank you. We had some technical difficulties, but we're back uh, in between that wall that's happening. Kind of refresh everybody, you're there. Mm -hmm. uh, the fruit is like, we right, need to go. Right. Uh, real quick, we hit uh, tier one uh, right side. So the way that this works okay. now is, there's certain objects that are associated for each tier. So, as you've agreed to help the fruit uh, do this for this uh, more money, he takes the bottle back out uh, and starts taking a pool. And he's like, "Well, uh, let's toast." And he starts passing it around. Okay. Uh, and then he also goes, uh, like, reaches for uh, his backpack and he pulls out uh, a med pack. And he goes, "Well, we're probably going to need this." I'd like some tea, And please. for some reason, he feels a connection with her. He doesn't know why. <coughs> right. But he hands you this med pack. And he's med like, this pack. is for you. I, hopefully, you're not going to need it. Thank um, you, Fritch. But we should really get going. <clears throat> um, so if we're all in agreement, and we're going to um, just, we got to go. We got to go. 30,000 credits. 30,000 right? credits at the yeah. end. Uh, but we got to go, because you saw this, this kid. Um, all right. So all he right. just kind of moves with the purpose. And maneuvering back through these crowds to this warehouse, and you see he stops. And he's like, "So uh, my intelligence says that inside uh, this major domo of the hut that we're here for is there. Uh, he's been like overseeing some stuff. Um, like I said, we gotta we like if this kid is nearby, we gotta go. Um, so the time for stealth is out the window. Just f follow my lead, and we'll do this. And mm -hmm. he proceeds to kind of just start running towards the warehouse. Yeah. I'm gonna run mm -hmm. after him. I will too. We follow. Yeah. So as you kind of follow him, he like stacks up at the door, kind of peeks it in, looks in, and then just disappears into the darkness. It's like a side door of this warehouse. Uh, I will follow. I'm gonna take out my um, my uh, vibro knife. So you, you guys all start to yeah, pull out weapon yeah. out. weapons. Captain, mm -hmm. should we proceed? Well. If we want to get paid, and we came this far, so yes. I say follow. You slowly make your way in, because he seems to just be dead set on, like, there's a, there's a threat here. This kid sure. thing has gotten a little bit startled, and he's just kind of moving as if some sort of timetable that he had has been escalated. Um, and you're seeing he's already moving through this warehouse, and there's some bodies that are like on the ground in front of you Ooh. and you don't know if maybe he had already taken them out um, but he's running up these stairs you see like there's overlooking this warehouse where there's a bunch of boxes there looks like a, an office with these lights on and he's just making a mad dash up there <sighs> anything useful on any of these bodies no they seem nothing about it. follow he's quickly yeah following, what might as well go after him quickly observing what kind of bodies are they there's oh. a human body and there's a Gamorian body Oh, just two. Two. Okay. They look like they're just kind of wearing typical, like hired, okay. thug. No uniforms. Sure. Understood. So as you race up the stairs, um, 
and you're kind of moving to catch up. Um, you get to Fruch as he's um, stacked up at the door, mm-hmm. and he's like waving for you guys to come forward, and he starts to count you guys slowly in as you, he's like, look, we can go in there. Um, you know, the major dumb was a twilight. Uh, don't shoot him if you can. Um, stun, stun. You have a vibro axe, so just hack everything else. That's not a twilight. Sure, that looks like a big gun. I don't know what that does. Don't shoot a twilight. Stun. I have poison. Poison everything that's not a twilight. Right. And he's like frantically. He's like, mm-hmm. okay, so we're good. Good. All right. So Understood. Ca- so he doesn't want us to kill anyone. In he wants you to kill everyone besides the twilight. Okay. That's why he's telling you guys set your weapons to stun. And if you see the Twi'lek, stun the Twi'lek. And Got it. To get to the hut. This is the first step to get twilight. to the hut, right? Like this mm-hmm. is. Let's capture the Twi'lek. The Twi'lek is the mm-hmm. hut's. Uh, I just had a thought. How do we know that? How do we know that we can trust this man? We 100%. don't. Frankly, we don't. What if we kill everything in here, and then two of those are the two people we were supposed to bring back? We don't know. We were sure told. That. We were told at the rebel base that this was our contact. That okay. We could trust him, and that okay. we could trust him. All right. He has been undercover for a long time. That is true. So going under that assumption, I'd rather make the thirty thousand credits. Mm. I'd rather not kill innocent people. Well, then set your weapon to stun. Mm-hmm. He did instruct us to do that. So as you're kind of talking, he I seems to not listen to you and just count it down. Three, two, one. Set to stun. And breaks into the door. Let's go. Can I put my gun on stun? Uh, yours is like a dart gun, so you have certain ones that can mm-hmm. knock people unconscious. Immediately? Uh, it depends on the type of uh, species that it hits okay. and how powerful the dose is. Herc is going to adjust his Vibra Axe to stun. He's just going to add the nerf attachment. <laughs> and it's nerf or nothing. As you... It's almost go time. <laughs> nerf or nothing. <laughs> Bust in. You see Fruits stop and just his hands kind of deflate. And just slowly walks farther into this office, it's kind of like a manager's office, towards this desk. And you see that, similar to the two bodies before, but Uh. now there's just bodies everywhere. What's up? Hello. Welcome to Honesty Hour with Bert. Welcome, Rye, to, Rye. welcome to Nightly Update. Nightly Update, thank Things you. got fucked up. Yeah. Yes. The power is is now restored and here we are. Everyone has left. <laughs> like I wanna blame this on Dark Side, but I can't. It's no. not Dark Side's fault. Yeah. It's quite literally the light side because it was the lights that went out. Ah, it was... the light side fucked us. It's quite literally an unfortunate power outage. Yeah. Uh So, y'all, there were lots of dice uh, purchased tonight. There were lots of of tips that came in. Those dice will roll over to next week. They typically won't roll over, but in the event of the stream dying in the way that it did, uh, they will. So all those dice that y'all donated for, those will be here next week. uh, And we will pick up right where we left off. And we'll make sure that the room is filled with wampas so we all burn through them. Yes. Yes, perfect. What? One, what? What? One, no. One thousand Bothans will die. <laughs> we don't know why. They've gone crazy. You have to kill them all. We will finally understand why the Bothans die. Brilliant. Thanks everybody for sticking around, yep. and thank you all of you who uh, tipped tonight. If you are still here and watching, uh, we're gonna read through the tips. Uh, or actually, we might just play through the tips. Ooh, I think we should because we them. have that option. I think it's more fun to read them. To be honest, it's more fun to read them. Yeah, because uh, I don't know how it's gonna pick up on the mic. Mm. Yeah. We put the thing. We put the mic closer to the thing. <laughs> we have the option to just play the tips. L- look, this is my chance to 
get recognized and discovered, I need to read these tips. Lucas, okay. You know what? Why don't we leave it up to the chat? God damn it. <laughs> Six hashtag setback. So you just want us to. Hashtag Sif hashtag Star Wars hashtag Sif Lords hashtag Darth Vader hashtag Darth You're telling me. No, 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 wait. Was the you're best one you're telling me you want us to just sit here blankly staring at the camera it's not while blank. that happens it's not blank. over and over. It's not blank, you do this. Alright, next. Yeah, right, man. Okay, on. great. Hashtag boost. Hashtag light side is the right side. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Read them in all in all caps. That first one was from Darth Torlin with all the hashtags. Thank you, Darth. That was a, a good sixty dollar tip. That was wow. Thank big you. time. Thank you. Uh, and then Lord Schaffer came in with that second one there, twenty dollars. Uh, Dutch Teddy. Thank you, Herg, for contributing to the continued career track of Randall. The Empire is happy that you are taking away so much hashtag difficulty for our deep cover agent. Hashtag dark. 25 bucks. Yeah, yeah. And then Kestrian with $50. The addiction is too strong Ooh. in this one. Hashtag drugs. Hashtag difficulty. Hashtag drugs. I really like yeah, it. Let's, this is great. Let's go down the line. I want, I want everyone to read this. Yeah, Berg, uh, oh, perfect. Which one? Uh, after Kestrian. Urquag. <laughs> Urquag. Hashtag light, hashtag boost. I want another one. That $10 yeah, yeah, you one. deserve another one. Get that cupcake therapy right Going there. Going up this way? Yeah. yeah. Clean living is a lie. There's only drugs. Yes! <laughs> There's drugs. I can't hide. There's drugs. I can't munchies. There's munchies. I can't wait. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Wait. <laughs> My channel is you broke Bert. <laughs> it's a good thing Bert doesn't get access to this during the show. The sandwiches are tasty. Hashtag, setback, hashtag Bert. Uh, oh, I just broke Bert. Clean living is a lie. There is only drugs. Through drugs, I gain eyes. Through eyes, I gain munchies. Through munchies, I gain weight. Through weight, my trampoline is broken. The sandwiches are tasty. Hashtag. Okay. Wow. That's, that's pretty funny, but I had no fucking idea what Bert just said. So, guys, uh, the, the first tier reward for the dark side tonight was drugs. Was drugs. That uh, context. So, which they will were, get, and they'll they will have it, and anyone who's watching them. Uh, will now know that they will find drugs. Uh, from Lord Schaffer, a measly donation that is the last I can afford to help that light side tonight. Hashtag light, hashtag boost. Thank you. Thank you. All right. From Mark CL. Oh, I totally forgot to give this boost to the hyper Reddit. That's hashtag hyper Reddit. And that one actually came after this one. Mm, well, Ooh, I want to come up with something clever to say, but I don't have hashtag proficiency <laughs> in that. So I'm just going to say hashtag light. And, th and then sit down in silence watching you guys from the dark corner. Bert, you are the Jimmy <laughs> Fallon of reading tips. Yeah. Uh, like, I'll give you a pretty funny, but <laughs> I'm not going to die over it. Well, it was the build-up to then I'm just going to go sit in the corner. <laughs> it's funnier the more you say it. I see where you are. <laughs> okay. These tips are much better with Bert reading them. Deadly0527 says, love, love you guys for the sh and the show. For now, quantity over quality, 10 hashtag boost. That was $100. Damn, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope Holy you're still crap. here. Thank you. That. And from Rottweiler66, uh, it's hashtag setback, hashtag dark, straight to the point. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being brief. Uh, oh, you gave me the one. I don't know how to pronounce this. Foop. Uh, Fupoyet, obviously. Yeah. Get, obviously. Go get that child! <laughs> every time. Every time. Uh, hashtag ability, hashtag light. Cupcake ther therapy coming in with, this is a code, Herg. The child thrower has been <laughs> This is not a drill. Hashtag difficulty, hashtag dark. All right, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, better just be a string of child-related ones. All right, Demalion, hashtag boost. I want to read another one. Cupcake therapy. This one is for the memory of cool blue stripes. Hashtag boost, hashtag light. R.I.P. So sad. Uh, first things first, rest in peace, cool blue stripes. Real quick. Uh, I got that reference. Damalion? 
hashtag ability, and then want Rattler 66 back in, hashtag setback, hashtag, hashtag dark. Deadly0527, outrage for the Nightbot, outrage for cuck, Cupcake Therapy, <laughs> outrage for Hyper RPG, outrage for every viewer. 10 setbacks. Thank you very much. Ooh. Which will stick around for yeah, yeah, next yeah. Week. Thank you. Hell yeah. Uh, Bert Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> Kestrian, uh, love me some PMP hashtag challenge. That was uh, also ten challenge. Damn, guys, you came in as soon as we came back online. There were you three went hard. One hundred dollar donations. That's nuts. Thank you so you much. You went hard. So last one there. Last one. Whoa. Savage punch. Here's some money towards an emergency generator. Oh, and hashtag boost. Thank you. So Thank you, everybody. We actually have uh, we have battery backups. Um, we do have those, but uh, one problem is that we didn't have the internet, the router, plugged into the battery backup. So yep. our computers were not going offline immediately, but our internet was. Which kind of... So we will fix that. That's a how long, big oversight. How long can we do a fix. show without internet? How long um, is it? Like 30 well, seconds? Or? if the power is out, I think those okay. batteries will last maybe a minute. Depends on two. how full the tubes are. To be honest. But it is nice to be able, right before you go offline, say, oh, the power is going out. Yeah. We're going to be right back. Yeah. Rather than going offline for 20 minutes Just with no like, explanation. Like what? So anyway, guys, thank you for the tips. Yeah. Thanks for your love and watching the show tonight. Yeah. And uh, thanks for sticking with us until this point. Thank you. And uh, we will see you tomorrow for Masters of the Metaverse. Yeah, yeah. 3 p.m. Pacific time. Be here for the wackiest RPG show you ever seen, uh, the lines between character and player are always blurred on this show. Blurred lines. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Bert, do you have anything to say? Uh, Thank thanks everybody for sticking with us also while we were testing out the, the new thing. Mm -hmm. I think there's some tweaks and stuff we can do yep. and it's still going to be implemented, but uh, overall, I think it worked in concept. So Yeah, yeah we'll it's going to be... It. I would say 100% finished next week. Cool. And Absolutely. that's the thing with this stuff is like, you know, you got to live test it. And yep. we did, and we saw the bugs, and they were pretty well fixed within about yep. an hour of the show. We yep. had it all figured out. Yep. I love the updates to the characters that you get to see uh, alignment and HP. Mm -hmm. That's huge. That's awesome. I think that's going to really help because you guys don't know how close these these guys have been to death yeah. in the past, which is, which is uh, great that you guys will know. And then yeah. I love that, you know, light or dark now, one side won't win all. Both sides get to win, but it's a race to see who mm. gets their bonuses faster. Yeah. So I think that's really cool. There's still a little bit of competition, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it won't be like, oh, if you were going light this whole time, like nothing, nothing will happen happened. for light. Right. Now something will always happen. And then, do we do the whole communal thing or not yet? No. No, okay. Okay. We will. Okay. That'll be another. We got one more big thing to uh, add into here. But yeah, so um, another cool thing, like starting next week, and we could have done it this week too, but it wasn't completely ready. But like starting next week, uh, based on a character's alignment, um, wherever the force meter, whichever side is winning at that time, uh, first of all, the lights will be updating um, constantly, whichever side is winning, uh, light versus dark, um, but also whichever side is winning at that given time. Uh, say a character is aligned dark. Uh, for example, probably Herg uh, will just stop. Will make what? Him just because dark. he's a child destroyer? Look. I think he'll be one of those people that's like fighting it. Like yes. Bert will say, you get two dark points, and then that will be Herg being introspective. Like, <laughs> Wait, I should oh. cool off on this evil stuff. But anyway, say Herg <laughs> is mostly aligned dark, he would get advantage on. Uh, roles if dark side was in the lead so that gives you a reason to get your side into the lead right then if you want to support her he gets a boost rather than a setback basically that's uh, cool based on the tier so if we're tier one he gets a boost uh if we're tier two he gets an ability if we're tier three he gets a proficiency yep <clears throat> plus these uh special unlocked were weapons yes. that are uh force alignment specific that's really cool too mm -hmm. and some then cool stuff uh to that end same thing say uh at the same moment the dark side is in the lead and kylara is aligned light side then she gets a setback Ooh. or she gets a difficulty or a challenge based on the tier so you know just a cool reason to support your favorite characters or support the team in whatever they're doing and more for the players to think about which i think is yeah, really yep. cool it's like the 
characters reflect. That's missing in a lot of RPGs where they all become murder hobos and there's yeah. no consequences. Now yeah. there are. Yeah. Cool. So anyway. anyway. Yeah, so thanks for everyone who's still there. <clears throat> Stick yeah. around. See you guys next week. Looking forward to it. Anything else? No. I think cool. that's it. Bye. Have a good one. Good night. Bye. May the force be with you. Force be